I don't think it's ever come up yet. No. Nah. Um, Just general hunting, you found a deer, boom, done. Yeah, I, I added it into Chase, and I recorded it for Tony to see. But what it does is it introduces people to skill roles before they get into combat. Um, oh, you were adding that based on what we were talking about? Yeah, exactly. So Okay, I, I thought you were talking about a different one where you tried it out already. Uh, well, it I, have, really I well. have tried it. I have tried it on someone. So, yeah, it did. It worked pretty well on them. It's like a um, stepping stone into combat rather than, you know, here's your character. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so um, we are on the road. Um, so last I remember, there was the cop and he was fairly harmless. And we'd had a whole discussion about, hey, if we go to the north... Uh, like, can you just leave us alone? Did I remember most of that correctly? Yeah. So he's... Um, you guys wanted right to know if you could make some trades in the town of Livermore, which you were heading That's right. towards. Um, and he saw you coming. He sort of rated you off um, and sent you north. And as long as you stay above um, the interstate uh, 580, he and the town will leave you alone. Um, they've had too many people come in and cause trouble. They're trying to make a, a proper township of Liverpool, uh, of Livermore, and so um, yeah, they take a bit. They're, they're a bit unfriendly to visitors. So the cop's been relatively nice to you guys, sort of a country sheriff, um, but he's been very definite. Hey, look, they don't like people, so probably don't come south. Um, he took all your guns, if you remember. Um, he gave you back one revolver. Um, so all oh, of you yeah, will yeah. need to actually click on your characters, uh, except the person with the revolver, and um, ready weapon, and just go to one arm for me. Just for the moment. But um, And then... Uh, whoops, I've got... Man, I'm such a bonehead. I was just clicking on the uh, the Twitch stream. I just couldn't figure out. I was like, oh, something's broken. I can't click on my You did it again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a bonehead. Um, and, um, yeah, you're all waiting for about 10 minutes. The, the sheriff said he'd be back in 10 minutes. He's got your guns in the back of the car. Um, he gave you one back as sort of goodwill to show you he wasn't just racing off with them. Um, oh, Sorry to interrupt, but I have a tactical yeah. baton. Do I, do I drop both of these? Uh, no, you don't no, need you to drop them. Just, just unready your gun. Oh, okay. Just because you don't have them at the moment, you don't need to get rid of them. Yeah. I gave myself the pistol because I know he gave it to me. Yeah. Cool. Um, so uh, I will just um, ready weapon on Spence and unarmed, so he just doesn't have that. So I know you're all still armed. So unarm your <laughs> characters. Uh, I'll, un I'll do Nate. I don't even know where I'm at. <laughs> uh, you're not there yet, so we'll meet we'll okay. you soon. So don't worry. Yeah, Nate's unarmed. Christopher's unarmed. And was it Daryl that definitely had one? I guess I had one more. Hmm. Can't remember who. Who got the gun? Um, oh, I did. Sorry. There you go. Okay. Ah, oh, so Christopher's got the gun. The guy that doesn't shoot anything's got Well, because I'm the one that's yeah. talking to him back and forth, so he handed it to me, and that's where yeah, we stopped. Okay. So Daryl just hit ready and just click remove weapon. So I'm technically hot with a with a heavy pistol. Yeah. Okay, so... Where, where, where is this at? My name didn't come up in that list. Uh, so if you click on your character, Zero, on the bottom left of the map, you'll see them all underneath the date. Oh, okay, down there. Yeah. Let me pull that up a little bit. And then click Ready Weapon. That'll come up in the chat. And then just here we go. Okay. That's it. And I'll whack you back down here. Yeah. yeah, cool. Okay, so you, you all start twiddling your thumbs and waiting as the sheriff drives off. He doesn't seem to be in any particular rush you know, traveling off um, <clears throat> down into Livermore. He goes down the main road um, down here 
um, and then traverses um, the street. So you can hear the car in the distance um, zooming off. So um, in terms of uh, what's in your area, you have a, it's, uh, I think we said it was like a gas station, but it had been ransacked, so there's not much there. Um, with a uh, with a motel at the back, so and you guys are sort of taking a few rooms at the motel. Yeah, you've got the car yep. outside, and you placed it around the back of the motel, um, and you're just waiting. Anyone doing anything while you're waiting? Um, I'm gonna tell the group that I don't want to hold this thing, but. If I don't have it when he comes back, we might have an issue. So I'm going to go to my room and set it on the dresser. Okay. So uh, Christopher goes to his room. <laughs> it's being sent there by uh, his mum. Uh, and yep. uh, places the uh, gun down. Anyone else doing anything? Is anyone picking up a guard or answer. anything? I'm kind of wandering around to get a sense of, like, I'm an engineer, right? So I'm just doing my engineer thing of wandering around and getting a sense of, like, where the X is, where, you know, like, like taking stock of the building. Yeah. Okay. So which side of the road are you doing it, north or south, are you looking? Uh, or are you just looking in your area? Doing a circle of the building and then expanding out from there. So it's not really north or south. It's like a 360 walk around the building. So okay. I'd start there and then kind of expand out and see what's next to it. So Munch is wandering around. Anybody else wandering around? I can say Trojan will, um, Nate will wander around with you a bit. Um, can you and Spencer will go look around? Yes. Okay. Uh, so um, everyone make perception checks. Spencer is going to go in with. He likes to be around the gun as much as he does Christmas. So we're mm -hmm. going around. I was successful. Um, I'll make Nate do a perception. Okay. So, uh, Nate and... Uh, Nate and Mika. So, as you're at Mika, Nate's just following your lead. He seems to be doing sort of what you are, just checking out. He seems um, kind of efficient and beady-eyed around checking out the uh, dangerous areas, etc. Um, you are right. much more, you're much more, hey, there's nothing over here sort of thing. Um, however, what you do see in the distance, um, as um, uh, Nate points it out, is a solar store. Um, it is called Solar Kingdom, and it is down this road here. I'm just putting it, there we go. Uh, the okay. Solar Kingdom, uh, did you say? Solar Kingdom, yep, that's there. Okay. Um, I think I have that one. Yep. Um, and yeah, you see it down the road, and um, obviously up to you. Oops, up to you what you um, do. But there you go, Solar Kingdom. Everyone see that? Um, it's yep. like a um, the houses of Livermore are kind of really oldy schooly houses they're put there ages and ages ago obviously like a nucleus around um, a, a crossroads back here and it's just grown out and out um, but the houses are kind of old school the um, uh, solar um, place though is like this new prefabby building looks completely out of place um but it looks you know modern uh, and matches like a solar convention of you know being newer tech technology etc uh but it is in you know the outskirts of livermore in the town township what is it what did you say it was i mean i see it's like solar kingdom but it's like solar powered like it's an energy battery generator or what stuff is it Oh, uh, you get the feeling it's like a um, a store for anything solar. Got it. Got it. So, so got, I'm gonna. It's, make... it's got sorry, shitty. Go sorry, it's got shitty like... signage that says, you know, come here for all your solar needs and stuff like that. So there's it's a good like chance the... we're gonna be able to fix our card, right? Possibly, yeah. Okay. Like like the Sofa King store. Exactly right, baby. Yeah. yeah. Um, Daryl, so, I pres sorry, go. On. 
No, no, I was making a bad joke. Keep okay. going. <laughs> <laughs> I'll save everybody. <laughs> um, so, Daryl, whilst they're looking around the front, you're doing the opposite side. Um, and did you make yours? No, you made, you found yours. So you're you're wandering around, and there, um, uh, Mina, you see a guy. Um, he's kind of skinny built. Um, and he's wandering. You're coming south, mm -hmm. aka what your character sheet says. Yeah, you're avoiding um, the north. And you're coming south, and you see a motel, which. I'm so lost. <laughs> you see a motel in, in front of you, and it looks. Um, there's nothing to see on the screen, Mina. This is all in your mind, yeah? So. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You can see a motel in front of you, and you can see like a skinnyish 20 year old wandering around looking around the back of it um and investigating it he doesn't see you clearly um but because you're coming south uh you see him okay so what i would do is i would just put um i'm just gonna whap you hey, Trojan's in the house. hey, Trojan. hey Trojan. hey what's up uh sorry about that and no worries so I'm going to say that, um, ah, and what are you doing with Giovanni, by the way? He's, he's still sort of strapped to the car. Um, okay, that was his name. I forgot his name, but I typed in chat. I was going to help him into a room. <clears throat> okay, cool. So you can gather him into the room. So um, Munch, you and Nate are around the front, and you've seen the solar place. Daryl, you are around the back, and the other three are in the middle. And... Um, Mina, I will call you Mina and Derek, by the way. I will use those depending on what's going on accidentally. Um, I love it. Yeah. And um, yeah, you can see Daryl around the back of the motel. You could do with a good night's sleep. So you kind of like the look of the motel. You were creeping up on it um, until you saw this guy wandering around the back of it. Can you see where I'm pinging, Mina? Um, um, I'm just, just going to make. No. There you go. Does that. Hang it. Maybe because I got my. Oh, okay. Hang on. I had my character sheet on top of it. Okay, I see you. Okay. Cool. I think. Can you ping so one, you... one more time? Ping. Yep. There you go. Okay. So, I see. so that guy you see wandering around the back, and he's 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 definitely looking for whatever he's looking for, but uh, he doesn't see you because he's looking more at the motel than what you can what you can find around it. Uh, are you doing anything? Do you want to sneak up or do you want to say shout hi or uh, do you want to avoid them? Gonna, <laughs> I'm just going to avoid him because I'm avoiding everybody. <laughs> okay. So. Cool. So we will. Um, so you are you are all here, Mina, um, over here on the map. Okay. Yep. Um, okay, and if you're avoiding, you guys go around the back, and if she's, uh, if Derek is hiding, then uh, you won't see him because you're not looking um, specifically for someone. Um, and um, uh, are you pointing out to Daryl the the solar shop? Oh wait, I'm so sorry. I forgot to ask, who was that person or am I supposed to not know? I've, I've never done this before, so I don't know. Um, so you don't, uh, so you can, um, in, in terms of you, Mina, Derek is, has just traveled south. He knows nobody, yeah? So just put okay. yourself okay. in the point of view that you're a lone survivor and you are tromping, tromping south and this is the first guy you've bumped into for a while. You're a bit nervous about being around anyone. You're not nervous about beating the snot out of him because he looks kind of small. Um, but you might have friends. You don't know, yeah? You can't see any of them at the moment. If the other guys um, come okay. around the back, then you'll see those guys as well. Um, but, um, yeah, Daryl's kind of a slight guy, so. We also have the cart around the back. Oh, yeah. And you see a um, uh, what looks like a sort of space age cart it's got a uh, solar panel on the top of it um and yeah it's 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 in the corner uh right next to the back of the motel okay can i like hang back and just observe for a little bit or yep 
Yep. So uh, Derek hangs back in okay. the corner and uh, just watches what's going around. Um, Munch and Nate, are you going around the back as well as the front, or are you just traveling around the back? Um, oh, sorry, so I, I'm heading to the front, right? So I'm just kind of like wandering over there, just trying to find like my way in. So not not kind of like going around the back, just seeing if the front door is a path of least resistance. So seeing if the front door is available. The, uh, this is the motel, yeah, not the... Not oh, the same, sorry, I was going to the Solar Kingdom I thought I was heading to. Okay, if you're going to the Solar Kingdom, that is a journey into town, yeah? Oh, oh, my to... bad. Sorry, I misunderstood. I thought that was within walking distance. So, all right. It's, uh... it's, it's within walking distance, but it'll take you a few minutes to get there. You're not getting there. Yeah. And, well, you might get, you might be able to run there and back without uh, the cop getting back. Who knows? Well, I think he's really good looking for I don't think much yeah, is running anyway. Before we get the car going, right? So I'm, I'm inclined to take a jog down there. Even okay. though I'm a little bit of a chubby fella, I think I'm inclined to take a jog down there and see if I can find what we need before the cop gets back. Okay. So who else is, is anyone else going with Munch? Um, I'm coming in and out of the room, so I want to see if I notice Munch going down the road. Nope, never mind. I'll be quiet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Derek, if you're going around the side, you can see uh, a few more of these guys. You can't see the three middle guys here, but you can see um, the guy, the two guys at the bottom of this list. Do you see those guys? In fact, I tell you what, we'll do it like this so you know what's going on. See this waypoint here? That's That's where everybody is. Giovanni is in a room, Spencer is in a room, and Christopher is in a room. Uh, Nate is looking around the front. Munch is looking around the front. And Daryl is looking around the back. And you are just hiding a little in the undergrowth. I'm serving. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you'll see a couple more if you're if you're moving around the front. Um, so Munch is looking to leg it over to um, the Solar Kingdom. Who else wants to go? Uh, Nate, uh, Trojan, good that you could join us. The you've spotted Solar Kingdom, and you've just discussed with Munch the fact that it might actually have an inverter in it that you want. All right, you coming with me? Oh, sure, I guess. Perfect. Hey, misery loves company. <laughs> okay. No little girls, man. Anyone else going to? No. Okay. I don't think I know that they're headed that way. Oh, yeah, okay. neither do I. Cool. Yeah, and like given that the cop's coming back, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be. I mean, if Nate's with me, I would take him with me. But this isn't kind of like, a, hey guys, let's go on an adventure, right? I'm just kind of running down there to see if I can find anything. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to leave the other guys on the top, and I will leave. I will just put. Um, uh, where are you? Where are you? I'll just put Derek in here so that you can all see what's going on. Um, it's. It, it's if you remember it's coming up sort of uh, midday-ish um, so I will see if I can turn the lights up on this place there we go um, so you should be able to see everything um, guys that aren't going down I'm just leaving you on screen so you can see at least a little of something that's going on um, so you guys can all stay up there and so can you and munch and what's it so you're coming down you guys are coming down this street over here okay and the warehouse is down over here if you can see yep um the bottom of the map down here uh what are you gonna do and are you blazingly just running through the streets or are you you, so you said it's kind of middle of the day, right? So it's it's not like dark and, and dingy, correct? No, it's not dark and dingy. So I, are we do we see anything like anything at all that would give me reason to think somebody else is close by? Um, no, 
Uh, but the town does look lived in. Yeah, it doesn't look like... Play... Everywhere you've been so far, yeah, moss is growing on things and blah, blah, blah. This looks like it's started to be inhabited more. People have cleaned things up a little. Yeah, right. so the bushes, um, whilst they're... Whilst they're bushes and stuff, it looks like someone at some point might have mowed this lawn. Not recently, but someone might have mowed this lawn. Whereas normally all this would just be, you know, rough and shaggy uh, grass with um, trees growing everywhere sort of thing. Um, all right. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm not running. I'm not like, you know, running through the streets uh, singing do wa diddy diddy dum diddy do. But like, I, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm also not like crawling from place to place. Like, you know, cautious being cautious as i go through there but not not stealthy okay so make a so um just use your character and run where you want to go to uh, are you sprinting or are you not sprinting so you're just no i'm kind of walking a little bit biscuit arsed as we say in, in back in england right so like <laughs> a little bit tight as i walk down here but i'm just kind of like moving at a good clip without running Almost like when you're a kid and you're trying not to panic. You know what I mean? When you're kind of like running along and you're trying not to panic because something's chasing you. Yeah, cool. So uh, Trojan, if you're going down with him. All right. Um, are you going to follow him or are you going to go a different way? Uh, I'm probably just going to follow him. Yeah, yeah I'm just going to follow him. Cool. Um, can you guys make a perception check for me, please? Yeah, I see nothing. Okay. Ooh, so does everybody. Okay, cool. Um, you just going down some more? Uh, no. Yeah, just uh, like heading down. Like, unless there's a reason to stop me, I will be heading to like where I am now. So like, from this point... Nate made his. Down. Hold on. Hold on one second. So, Nate, hear, you hear something like a door unlocking from over here. Or not unlocking, but just opening up from over here. So I'm just going to put you back where you were, Munch, because Nate's heard it. See whether he tells you to do something or whatever. So you you hear a door um, and a door chain um, clicking from over here in this house. Sounds like the exterior door. Can you ping it? Yeah, okay. So I saw yeah, it. I saw yeah. it. Yeah. <clears throat> what do you want to do? Uh, I would like to ready my weapon. Uh, you don't have a weapon, so... Do I? Oh. Yeah, the cops yeah. got them all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, um... I would just like to... Sing. I just like the, to sing. These are trees here. And you could you could hide behind those if you wanted to, or there's some uh, like outdoor tables here if you wanted to hide over there, if you want to hide. Uh. Yeah, I'll just hide over here. That's cool. Uh, can you make a stealth roll for me? Uh, what are you doing, Munch? So have I have I seen the Nate stopping? Uh yeah, Nate stopped and then suddenly lunged backwards behind some um tables and stuff outside the front of this house up. Uh, just north. So I tend to think of Munch as being like a bad like you know, like everything about him is like a bad John Candy movie. So having seen Nate just do that, I'm almost going to comically like run behind the tree but like bump into the tree as I'm doing it like all, all in one. Okay. Maybe Chris Farley is a better example, but you get it. Yeah. Okay. So bumble into the trees for me and make yeah. a stealth roll for me. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna voluntarily give myself a minus one on that stealth roll because I just I was not stealthy at all and I bumped into the trees. No, I'm fine. I, 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 I'm fine. Well, okay, you fell anyway. So, I don't okay. think it's gonna so, <laughs> no, no. The tree, the tree is you. So. Uh, up here, uh, Nate makes a play back to the house uh, and stumbles in amongst the um, the very thing that he's trying to hide behind, which is the table. And it sort of flumps down and um, it provides him cover, um, but uh, there's a certain amount of noise, yeah? Um, 
Uh, Munch runs down into the tree and not only does he sort of stumble as he's moving towards it, but sort of clumps against it. So the tree does a shiver and there's all these leaves falling down um, out of it as you um, as you bump into it. Um, and then and- just because of the way I view Munch, hold on one second. As that happens, Munch then lets out a little sad <laughs> fart noise like while he's in the trees. <laughs> like to really add to the overall scene. Oh, yeah. So uh, as you're doing that, you're you're both well. Um, Nate is watching over in the direction that he heard the um, uh, the noise come from, um, and you see a guy uh, pop out of his door. He he seems really casual, yeah, and he um, he uh, he's got a bin bag in his hand and it looks full, and um, he's walking out to the trash, um, which is just out here on the side of the road. He flips off the top of the bin and he plops it in. And in, even though you fell, it, it, you, you get the feeling he's not looking for anything. So it, it's just luck that he's not really seeing you. He, um, he stands there. He sort of, um, he shouts inside the door. Yeah, it's out, woman. Give me a break. And uh, he slams the lid back on and it's, it's a lot of noise. Um, and then he starts wandering back to the house. And he... He does that thing where you get up to the door and then you feel like someone's watching you and you do a look around and he just generally surveys the whole area. He might see a few leaves dropping from over here where you you are munch, but um, the damage is done in terms of uh, the noise. He wasn't out of the uh, house when you made it and he's sort of assuming you're not doing anything and you're staying motionless. He, He sort of closes the door uh, and goes back inside. Hey, Matt, so let, let, me, let me ask you a question. Yep. So this, this is obviously a little bit different than the, or like I, I have no, no idea how close this is to the other, like my version of this setting, right? So is this a normal site, right? I mean, uh, you know, we, this is like a year or whatever on. Are we used to seeing people appearing to put their garbage out or does that feel like really out of place to me? No, so this is... Uh, this is, I think we said it was four years after the flu, so yeah, it's not four. one year after, yeah. So Sorry. everything went went through a shitstorm. Um, but this place is weird. Yeah, or well, not weird, but it's different. Um, most places have gone to hell. There's a few wanderers, and very few people have managed are managing now to settle in one place because there's not enough food or there's not enough something or other else, yeah. Um, but there are a few places that have set up, you know, Thunderdome sort of places. Um, sure. But, yeah, it's weird that it's normal. Yeah, they've managed to um, get a township. And it, and he looks like he's just come out. His clothes are crap, yeah, um, and they're a bit threadbare and stuff, but he's putting trash in a bin. Somebody's going to take it away, you know? Um, it, it, it sounds like these guys are sort of getting their stuff together, which may be why the sheriff is so adamant that, you know, they don't want other people around because maybe that will, you know, mess things up. Who knows? It would fall into that township, right? I mean, like what we've seen here would fall into the area that he kind of pointed out to us, correct? Yeah, totally. This is all the Perfect. township. Perfect. Uh, okay. Right, so you break in and set fire to that house. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what are you doing next? Um, I'm I'm just panting and waiting to see what happens. I mean, the guy goes inside, but I'm looking over to Nate because Nate Nate felt like he's to me felt like he was aware of what was going on earlier. So yeah. I'm going to be taking my cue from Nate. Okay. So Nate, he's gone back in the um, house. You don't get a feeling. You you get the feeling he didn't notice you because he didn't pay any attention and he's he just wandered back in again. What do you want to do? Yeah, sure. Oh, uh, I like want to slowly like walk over to Munch over here. Yep. Are you guys stealthing it now, or are you are you going back? Oh, to yeah. just wandering around. Okay, stealthing. It. No, knowing yeah. there's someone here, I'm much more nervous now. I'm much more concerned. Right? I thought this yeah. was just a little jaunt down to see if we could find <laughs> some supplies. Now we're dealing with local residents, so I'm very freaked out. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, so you guys uh, will, uh, uh, you're both sharing a tree, <laughs> sharing a tree now. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what are you, uh, are you going to talk to each other and say anything before you make a move or are you? Yeah, no, definitely. I, 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 it just kind of express a little bit like you know basically have a were you expecting that i was not expecting that i didn't expect to see somebody coming out from this thing what should we do should we go to the store or are we just going to run back i, I, I don't know what to do i guess we've we've come this far so i'm inclined to keep moving um thank you daryl um, I'm inclined to be moving down to the store, right? Because we've come this far and the guy has shut his door. So unless you feel otherwise, Nate, unless you're trying to talk me out of it, I think that's what I'm going to keep doing. Sure, I'll, I'll go down there. <laughs> okay. So you make a stealth roll for me again? Unless you, I'll give you a plus one because you're now, you know, nobody knows you're here. Um, so All stealth right. roll with plus one. Oh, <laughs> yeah! I'm just too I'm too, I'm too big boned to be really okay. stealthy. I think that's what it is. So Nate Nate takes a um, a graceful lope over to the uh, side of the the place, and um, Munch starts to take a walk. Crunch, 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 crunch. Yeah, um, and maybe because um, Nate's so fast, he tries to accelerate up to um, Nate's speed, um, and just maybe uh, sort of clips uh, the, um, the the path here um, and sends some rocks flying. So it, it's not ridiculously um, noisy, but as we've sort of suggested before, with no cars and no anything else roaming around or doing anything, everything's kind of a noise, yeah? Um, I'm just going to make a roll for Mady and his missus. Um so. Surely they're too busy watching How I Met Your Mother or something. They've got so much normalcy going on here, right? Yeah, the they problem is TV doesn't TV work. work. That's the problem. Is uh, So they're just playing cards inside. Uh, Influence has got one L as well, by the way, now. So we're, we're all cooking there. Man, I just uh, know they bought the DVD set. Yeah, they've got the DVD set, but they're just looking at the disc in the center of the, <laughs> in the, center uh. of the table. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, that didn't work because it still rolled it for you to see. Okay. Um, so you get, you see this guy has uh, popped his head out um, at the window. And he's, he's just looking around. Um, Munch, he's going to be able to see you because you're looking over in that direction. What are you going to do? Um, do I feel that I could make kind of like a, almost like a dive into the bushes so he wouldn't see me or do I feel he's going to see me no matter what? Uh, you got a couple of choices, I reckon. Uh, you, uh, he, he, if you make a lunge and you make your athletics check, you might not be seen at all. Yep. Right. Um, if you stay where you are, then he's going to see you and you're going to have to come up with some other reason for being there sort of thing. Um, then I'm going to take a lunge. Did you say that was athletics? Yeah. So I'm going to take an athletics check, but I'm going to use one of my distempered dice um, and take a plus three C mod. Cool. Uh, Good answer. Good answer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Made it. Okay. So, so Nate, you look over at the clumsy yokel behind you and (laughs) after falling over the, uh, stumbling over the, um, uh, the pavement as he gets there, um, he then tucks into a roll um, and dives into the bush next to you. There's a sort of sprinkling and a shuffling <laughs> of the of the bushes um, next to you, but you realise he's probably hiding from someone again. Uh, you are both at the side of the building. There is a... Um, you can't be seen by this guy anymore. Um, Nate, if you look around, he sort of keeps looking out of there and then eventually loses interest and uh, goes back into the house. Um, There is a big sliding door here um, and a sliding door on the... Let me have a look. Um, 
There's a big sliding door on the south, and there's a big sliding door on the side that you can see. Uh, and the sliding doors look like they would open up and give everybody free access into the into the warehouse. Does that make sense? It makes total sense, but my first, my gut feeling is that if we do that, it's going to create a ton of noise. So, um, I mean, I've opened those doors in real life. They've rarely opened quietly. Do you know what yeah. I mean? There's like clinking and whatever as you're doing it. So there's one, uh, no, any, there's one door oh, door on the safe. And there's like, one, yeah. there's one on the, there's two, uh, there's one on the north, but you don't feel like that's a goer given. That'll be where the guy's Please. facing. Can you can you see where I'm pinging at the moment? Is this yeah. where the door is? Yeah. yeah. All right. So perfect. the door yeah, is I, here. Yeah. All right. I would move over to there. Okay. What can I see? Is it? Uh, is it? Does it appear to be locked? Um. So you rattle on the door handle, and no, it's not locked. Uh, Nate, are you going around the back as well, or are you? Yep. You not? Okay. Cool. Um, so I, I'm going to open it as gently as I can. Sorry, man. I'm going to open it as gently as I can, like as quietly as I possibly can. Okay. So you get the feeling this is a few minutes, yeah? So you've already searched around a little at the gar at the motel. That's a few minutes. This is a jaunt down. We're probably five, six minutes already of hiding and making sure that nobody's around, etc. Are you still wanting to go inside? Uh, yeah. So you can get, you say that you again? The reason that so I'm... you you reckon the cops coming back in ten minutes? Yeah. Yeah. You're obviously not going to be back in 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 ten minutes if you go in. That's up to you. You can you can. I, I, we've we've come all this way, in. right? I'm 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 happy enough to tell the cop that I was taking a poop in the woods, right? I I think this is important <laughs> enough to to see what's in there still. Okay. So this is going to be a bit boring for the other guys then. So we're going to go into the warehouse and you are going to open up the door and you will be... Uh, sorry, guys. So you won't see anything for a second while I choose your characters. Um, Munch and Nate. Munch and Nate. Down into here. And you are... Uh, right inside, it's very dark because yeah, it's an old warehousey thing. The top's covered in like solar panels and stuff, uh, but there's no lights on inside. Do I? Do I? Uh, let me see. See if I have a flashlight in my. Uh, I have a flashlight. Can I? Can I use it? Sure. Can you All right. Click so... on it. Yep. Boom. All right. So uh, um, we're not in combat, so I can just move around a little bit, right? Yeah, uh, I tell you what, um, just for this, before you move around, what I'm going to do, because it's going to be boring for the other guys for a second, I'm just going to give everybody access to your character. So don't open this his character sheet, please, guys. Yeah. Just uh, It's just so that you can see what's going on. So uh, Mina... And, Would it work better if you just put us on the map? Uh, yeah, but then, no, uh, you'll see why. Uh, ah, okay. We'd probably have to move around to see. Well, everything. actually, here, I'll just open up the stream because I could probably see what you got on there, right? Uh, yeah, open up the stream. Open up the stream. What a great idea. I know, yeah. great idea. Make it easy for you. Yeah, brilliant. Just mute uh, your audio on the stream. Yeah, cool. Uh, do you see in the stream? Um, yeah. You right. Yeah, you should see him with a torch on. Uh, Nate, I, th I don't know whether you've got a torch, actually. If you click your character, does it say flashlight? Oh, uh, yeah. As a button? You can turn one on if you want to as well. If you want to. You don't have to. You can go rent and let Munch use up his battery if you want. Bearing in mind, every time you turn your torch on, it uses up a little bit of the battery. Okay. Uh, so. I cannot. Uh, everything is black for me. Uh, maybe refresh, Nate. Um, it's it's dynamic lighting. You've just definitely turned on your torch because it's it's doubled the. Um... Uh, that. Uh... 
uh, that still didn't do anything. Um, mm -hmm. Can everybody else see um, Blazing Blazin Lightning? I mean, I, I can see a flash like on the a stream. Little corner. A yeah. little corner lit up, is that right? Uh, so yeah. are you are you watching the stream, Mina? Oh, no, I'm actually doing the roll 20, sorry. That's okay. Um, I'm watching the stream, there's the corner lit up. Yeah, Trojan, can you not see? Ah, maybe you can't, you're not, hang on, let me do that. Although the light looks like it's coming from Trojan rather than Munch. It is. He turned on his light. No, I mean even before he turned it on. Uh, I think Munch has moved from somewhere to somewhere else. So, uh, hold on. Let me, let me do that. There you go. So. Yeah, it's working. Um, okay. So, uh, Nate, can you not see anything still? No, I cannot see anything. You should be looking bottom left-hand corner of the map, of the battle map. Yeah. You still can't see anything? Where my ping is? I can see. Do, you, do you see it black? Yeah. Uh, I, can see my, I can see my token, but I can't see anything else. Is it white here? No. Um, no. Let me, let me do this. Um, save. Oh, uh, now I can see it. Okay, so it's sorry. This is a bug in Roll Twenty. Then I, I've just turned on your site and turned it back on, and so it's working now. Okay, so um, I'll build something that maybe fixes that. I I can't I can't fix their stuff, but um, uh, I'll see what I can do about um, jury rigging something. If players get that problem, we can uh, sidestep it. Okay, so out here, there's the door. That's the exit. You just, um, you've left that sort of a jar. Um, and there's a window over here and there's a window over here. Okay. So just watch when you're wandering, when you see stuff, because obviously, um, people see into windows as well. Um, not that you're worried or if you are worried, who knows, uh, what are you doing guys? So I'm going to explore. I'm kind of heading up here and I'm pinging it so you can see it in case I'm about to spoil anything. So I'm heading in that direction kind of over here towards what appears to be a catwalk. Okay. So there's a catwalk above you and uh, some wirings going over to what looks like um, some sort of hook up on a um, up on a big street. Uh, up on a... You know the... Um, Looks like a mechanical train that goes along the top that's connected to the roof. Um, yeah. And there's some sort of controls on the um, on the catwalk that allow you to move it from left to right. So these wires are going to it. And it's got a, um, a, a chain and a hook that comes all the way down to the ground. So it's whatever they were using to transport boxes from one end of the warehouse to the other, you know? Oh, an overhead crane. Yeah. But it's it's kind of a um, uh, it's on a tr uh, a track across the top. So this this is the track, and it just goes from one end of the thing to the other. Uh, there are some boxes um, here, Tony, um, yep. and here. These look like storage containers and stuff. They're semi-empty or mostly empty at the moment. There's some. Um, uh, more boxes that you just saw when you were wandering here. There were some tables here that obviously had um, some coffee and stuff on. Um, they're pretty dusty and stuff. Uh, and then there's a bunch of boxes over here. Uh, so give me, the door give me the cops come in. So I'm going to, I don't know what Nate's up to, but I'm going to head over. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explore with my torch as much as I can and try and see like all four corners of the building. Yep. And then knowing that the cop is coming back, like I, I, I probably just rummage through a few boxes, see if I can find anything worthwhile. But again, like try and get a sense of this, the entirety of this building. Okay. So can you make a, um, ah, okay. So you're not, are you searching through the boxes or are you just trying to envisage what's in there? Well, before I get to the boxes, I really want to see kind of like how big the building is, right? Just to make okay. sure the I, I, I don't want, I don't want some jumping. I'm, I'm still a little bit shocked by what happened in the last building that we got into. So I want to make sure there's no little girls running around <laughs> with yeah. scary voices. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to do this. And... 
Hopefully this will work. Yes. Ooh, okay. That's not what you want to hear as a GM, is it? as a player. No, the GM goes, woo. Uh, okay. Um, well, that's a good roll. Okay. Uh, Nate, what are you doing while Munch is wandering around the corners to check out how big the place is? Um. You can see at the so, bottom, um, Nate, the, you can see a bunch of uh, boxes. Um, here and they are stacked three high there's some broken yeah, boxes uh, here and some tiny boxes Next I want to go over to these uh, boxes yep over here and uh, does it have any, like any general indication of what the contents might be yeah so somebody has put um, like post-it notes on the boxes um, you get the feeling that somebody has sorted through all the stuff that's left of the place um, and boxed up what's probably there. And the inventory on the outside of the box kind of tells you um, what's in each of the boxes. All right. And you know it's makeshift because in some of them it says uh, cups as well as electronic parts and stuff. So are there any yeah are there any that might be of interest to yeah one of the middle ones uh looks like it says um inductors and juices and transformers and it's just got question marks next to it as uh, if they don't know what they are but it's got uh, several oh. numbers next to them sorry <laughs> uh yeah uh I'd like to just pull that one off. The Okay, so it's one of the middle boxes, so you're going to need to pull one of the top boxes off to get to that box. Uh, and they, they, yeah. look, they look quite big. You can probably handle them if you get Munch to give you a hand with a physicality roll. But I'll need two of you, unless you just want to... You could just pull the whole thing down. That's much easier than trying to lift it and pull it down uh i'll just wait for munch to get to finish with the, whatever he's doing okay so munch you'll wander around slowly you can walk uh up to the north so there's the this is the gate outside um yep. the big roller door um the yep. doors to go upstairs uh, sorry the stairs to go upstairs are here um but you see it's kind of empty around the place there's a few boxes here um that are scattered um and everywhere else looks like it's cleaned up and been put into boxes at this end All right, so I, I'm I'm just gonna keep heading down here because again, like I'm conscious of the cop getting back, right? So yeah. just trying to get, like so any anything weird or untowards as I kind of cycle back to Nate down here. No, um, I mean you can go upstairs if you want to, um, but there doesn't seem to be anything super strange. So as I get around, I, and again, I want to go upstairs, but at the same time, I want to get back because of the cops. So, Nate, have you found, like, I'd be asking you, obviously, have you found anything? Yeah, there's one labeled, uh, uh, that sounds uh, interesting, and, uh, and I can look <laughs> to it. Yep. So I'm, I'm going to run over and take a look, because, again, as the engineer, I'd probably know if these are any good parts to us. So I, I'd head over and look at what Nate is finding in those boxes. The post-it notes aren't good for you because you are more technical. You you know exactly what you're looking for, yeah. Um, but these were written by somebody that doesn't know possibly what they were when they were put away. But this is definitely the 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 crate that Nate points at is definitely the one that you guys are interested in. Can I do? Do I know enough about what I'm looking for to be able to rummage through and grab it, or do we need to take the whole box? And can we move the box? Is it is it light enough? Uh, you think you can probably recognize what it is of a couple of different things, yeah? You could... Uh, there, it's going to be a small thing. It's not going to be a massive thing. You could take the box down, empty it, um, or find whatever one of whatever it is that you're looking for. 
Yeah, I would take it down and just empty it on the floor, right? I'm not looking to, to set up shop in this place. I'm looking to get out of it, so I would just empty it on the floor. I, I would probably tell Nate, hey, I didn't go upstairs to see if he wants to take a look up there while I'm looking through this box, but I, I just want to get back to the others. Okay, so there's there's a choice. The boxes are big enough that you can pull them down in a two, yeah, both of you pulling them down because they're big and awkward, or yeah. you can just tip them and let them fall on the ground, but that will obviously make a bit of noise. Um, or, well, that's, that's your only choices. Uh, I'm you gotta get, you, you okay. got to get a top one off. Sorry. I'm okay with tipping them down on the floor. Okay. Okay, so top <laughs> box. Nate, are you okay with that? Or are you going to Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, um, yep, you, under torchlight, you yank the top one, top one and it smashes on the floor and, like, bits and stuff go everywhere. You can hear the cups that were listed in the uh, top box um, sort of shattering inside as it falls on the uh, ground. And you can get to the second one. The second one, the, the crates underneath, they look like they've been boxed properly. Um, and the, the top is sort of wedged in um because it's had a heavy uh thing on top of it um you'll need to make a strength roll to pull it off all right is nate gonna be able to help me on this yeah you can do a combined roll for this so hey, nate, um, character sheet and hit group check and then do physicality Hey, Nate, you there? Or Trojan? You there, Nate? Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll do his thing just in case he's falling off. Uh, he's got group check on. All right, beautiful. He might be muted because he had it on. Ah, uh, look at that. Thank you for your help there, Nate. We got it open. Cool. Um, you know, I said about um, not flicking the buttons. I have not flicked the buttons in. What's it? So you haven't been seeing all of the the pretty pictures and stuff. Uh, okay, so there we go. Um, so you pull down the uh, the box and lift up the top of the next box. In there, there's a whole sort of menagerie of um, devices. Um, and let's just see how quickly you grab what you want. So, uh, have you what what skills have you got that we could use for finding what you need? We've got perception. Uh, I've got mechanics. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. We'll roll that. We'll roll mechanics because you're looking for a specific thing. Yeah. That's cool. Yep, yep. I was, was going to go for scavenging, but I think mechanics is good because, uh, yeah, that's cool. So you, you scrounge around in there really fast and um, you're just pulling things out of the way, left, right, and center, given that you've just dropped a box on the floor and don't care. Uh, and you find the uh, you find something that looks like an inducer. There, there's another one next to it as well. So you probably grab both just in case. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, and you're good. Beautiful. Heading so heading out of the building. Like, unless you, I, I don't really want to go and explore upstairs. I just want to get back. So I'm inclined. Unless Nate's got a different plan, I'm inclined to get out of this building and again as quickly as I can without, you know, causing myself problems. Try and get back over to where uh, the the sheriff's coming back. Cool. Um, so Nate, are you okay with that? Yeah. Uh, so you jump out of the door, you close the door behind you and you get back into, um, back out here. Head over um, this way. Yep. Like back the way we came from tree to tree to tree to bush to like around the side, hopefully without seeing that guy in that area there. Okay. So I'm going to give you two stealth rolls, two okay. stealth rolls to make it past. Yep. Cool. Yep. Oh, uh, whoops. Uh, mechanics, I'm still seeing. All right, there's one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> womp, womp. Okay, so as you're moving to the trees and stuff, maybe you're um, dropping onto branches and stuff. That. Hey, I'm going to re-roll that. Okay. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm too far off. Like, I'd have to get too high a mark with that to get there. So, all right, keep going. Sorry. Okay. 
Uh, so, um, what's your, uh, I'm going to put, whoops, uh, two. Don't forget it, your flashlights. You, you may, yeah, turn off your flashlights for me. Uh, so click on flashlights and just say off. Uh, Munch, it was your second roll that you failed, wasn't it? Right. Yeah. So I can say your first one's coming out of these and getting into the tree. Second one's here. So you're sort of here. There's a downturned, uh, table here. Uh, that you're dashing to, but you sort of scrambled into it instead of around it. Nate, you right. failed the first one, uh, but yeah. made made the second one. So you failed this one, and that alerted the guy. He's now looking out the window again and starting to come out. But by the time he's out, you've made it to here, and you're hiding in your favorite tree, Lover's Lane tree, that uh, you guys <laughs> discovered <laughs> before. Um, and this guy comes out of his door. Whoops. Um, okay. Uh, this guy comes out of his door and is looking around. And he's now looking over here, okay? He is going to make a perception roll, literally, and he's looking for you this time. So no minuses or anything. Uh, pew pew. Ah, oh, and he fails. Okay, he's 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 definitely looking for you. He's um, wandering over there, and he's 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 shouting in through the door, Marge. There's definitely some. I, I definitely can hear that. Maybe it's the neighbors. Maybe it's those damn kids. Um, and she shouts something from inside, and he goes, "No, I'm going to catch one of the little fuckers." He says, and uh, he goes, he goes inside, but the door's still open. And it sounds like he's going to come back out to us. All right, so could, I mean, like, help me visualize the situation. Can I, if I do? And again, chubby guy, but if I do a full on run, <coughs> excuse me, am I going to be able to get away from this situation <laughs> or alert him to me? Two sprints and you're away, yeah? But if he comes out straight away, he's going to see your ass hightailing it out there. Um, you get the feeling he, well, you don't know why he's gone back inside, but yeah, doors open. It looks like he'd probably come back out. Nate, you're kind of the same. A uh, couple of sprints and you'll be away. What do you want to do, Nate? Do you want to do you want to like hide and see if he'll like go past us or try and run out of here? <laughs> I, I'm gonna run. All okay. right, I'll follow you. I would. Uh... Okay, would so uh, sprinting. So you'll need to make um, an athletics check. So what we'll do is we will go one, two, three, four. We'll get Munch to there. We'll go one, two. Oops. We'll go one, two, three, four. We get you there. Uh, so both of you make your athletics checks. Assuming you uh, make these. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Okay, so you're huffing and puffing um, because maybe the adrenaline was buzzing when you were back here, but now the adrenaline's really sapped the hell out of you as you've been hiding um, and making this last-minute dash to get out. Um, so you didn't make the extra roll. This time you're going to be three um, away. He doesn't come out the next round, but as you're up here sort of darting up around the up around here before you make your um, next sprint. Um, you see the guy coming out. He goes, Marge, it's not the bloody kids. And you can see if you if you look over your shoulder, he's got a uh, axe handle in his hand. He's going, there's some damn violence in the town. Uh, and he starts, um, he, 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 he goes back to the house again. And he's shouting at her. Yeah, I, I can we run? Yep. I mean, if he's gone back into the house, let's just take the opportunity to try and run again. Yeah. Yep. Okay, spread in front. Um, so you're you're away, okay? And you will um, meet up back at the motel. Cool. Back to you guys. Oh boy, this will be fun. Okay. So after <laughs> after about tw twelve minutes, fifteen minutes, um, you well, I'm not sure whether you notice the other guys have even gone, uh, but the cop turns, roll if you want. cop turns back up. 
Um, I'll see when he comes out. Uh, no, you failed the perception roll when you saw them go, and if you if you aren't looking for them specifically, that's true. That's um, true. So roll, probably perception roll stuff. when they're coming back while we're talking yeah, to the cop. Exactly. Um, so Daryl and um, Spencer and Christopher and um, Giovanni, you're you're all um, at the place, and he he trolls up. Um, Spencer walks out. Um, he doesn't grab the gun, but he walks out the front door. Um, Mina, you can see um, a cop turn up in a cop car outside the motel. And Christopher, oh. and you see a guy walking out the front of the motel with another guy in glasses. Um, uh, Geo looks like he's probably staying inside. He's probably asleep. <coughs> Uh, Daryl, what are you? Uh, welcome back. Yeah, hi, y'all. Um, I've been trying to get the council to meet y'all, but uh, they um, don't seem too keen. I did tell them about the medical supplies, and that changed their mind, though. But uh, by then, I'd been arguing with them for a little bit. Um, they'll meet you tomorrow. Is that okay? I mean, it sounds good with me. I don't know about the rest of them, once we pass the word along. I mean, it's going to have to be. Uh, I get the feeling that they might be up for uh, swapping some medical supplies, but uh, I can't be sure. Um, they've, they've offered to get the council together and meet with two of you. Oh, that sounds great. Maybe I'll... Uh, I, very friendly with me. Maybe I'll grab the uh, the tech guy who knows what the heck he's looking for. And uh, we can go perusing. I mean, obviously me, because I'm going to be helping you. But uh, then we'll bring the tech guy in, and he can try and browse around and see if he got something we can use. <coughs> Which one of y'all is the uh, tech guy? Not that it matters. You, can, uh, you, can, you guys can sort that out. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, I'll come and get you in the morning. Does that sound okay? Do you guys? Can I get you anything, you guys? Um, yeah. Um, I'm sure these guys probably want some of those weapons back, so do you think maybe you can give us a few of them back? I'll give you a revolver here. Um, what if, what if, uh... I mean, just for the overnight, boss. Because, you know, we are outside the town, and I don't want to, I don't want to have you worrying about us up here, just in case something happens. Hmm. Okay, I, I'll give you back your hand weapons, but I'm not giving you back anything uh, bigger. This this carbine, uh, I'm keeping it. Um, That's already back. You, Is that good? Good enough? You can, yeah, you can have it back when uh, when we leave. So, so everybody's got their hand pistols back, and you give him back his his pistol. Okay. So you can have your hand weapons back and light pistols, but um, you can't have any of the bigger stuff. Uh, no need to change anything on you. Probably grabbing them. Yeah. 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 Um, so I'll get that on my inventory. Okay. So Spencer gives you a hand and grabs them and takes them inside, uh, his room and dumps them on the thing. Um, he then says, okay, so, um, I'll see you at, uh, let's say nine. Sure. We'll be here. Okay. Um, he, um, he gets in his car and actually goes um, up this road. Whoops. Oh, sorry. I will draw it. Um, he gets in his car, goes. Uh, up this road behind you. And up here and you lose him in the distance. Um, What are you doing? Um, are we back yet? Uh, you will come back, and um, yeah, you'll be you'll be running full noise. He well, actually, no. It's going to take a little while to undo the cut, uh, the um, take out the weapons and stuff, and you're talking to him. So I'm going to say, whilst uh, Christopher and Spencer are unloading the weapons. Um, you guys turn up at the other side of uh, of the road, so you don't want to be seen on on this side of the highway. Yeah, it's a few lanes, so you're going to stand out big time if you if you want to try and cross it. 
Okay. What do you want to do? Uh, are they in range that we'll probably notice them yet? Um, it'll be hard. Um, I'll say a minus three for spotting them. Oh, it's going to be that bad. I'm not even going to try. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're coming from a completely different direction and you're not looking over there, so... And you're, yeah, you're okay, busy doing not, something else. Be. Yeah, I won't worry then. Cool. Uh, so, Munch and Nate, are you going to try and hightail it back in or are you waiting to see what happens with the cop? Uh, well, uh, so, what was... <clears throat> excuse me, what's the timing on it? Like, is he will, he... will he still be there if we hightail it back? He's he's there at the moment, and Spencer and Christopher are emptying the guns out of what looks like they're emptying the guns out of the back of the police car where you put them in the trunk. Um, so if, and, the cop, if he has to see me, I'm not going to announce myself because it'll probably make him more suspicious that I'm coming back from somewhere. So I, I, I would try and avoid making any contact. Okay, cool. So you stay over the road until he goes, and then you can come back yeah. over the road. So you guys, uh, so Spencer and Daryl, did you come out to see the cop? You did, didn't you? Um, yeah. Spencer, Christopher, and Daryl, you see the cop drive away, and then you see Nate and Munch running from the other side of town. So the other side of the highway over here, uh, mm. over to your side. Where are they what the hell are you guys doing? <laughs> you guys got one hell of a timing. What the hell were you doing? I, I would uh, like perfectly explain it all to him, but like kind of like be jumping around with details and like and then this guy came out of his house and we found this room and there were these boxes and I pulled one down and the guy was talking to his wife and they think there's kids. And, I'm gonna oh, cut yeah. him off. I'm like, are you insane? <laughs> you, you, just you, we had wife. to wait ten minutes. What the hell is wrong with you? I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. I was too excited. We thought we might have it. We didn't know what was really going on. I didn't want to waste the opportunity, but there's a guy and he's uh, married to Mark. Ten minutes. <laughs> okay, okay, you, okay. You can see a domestic <laughs> happening outside the front, Mina, if, you, if, if you're interested. <laughs> Were you spotted? I don't think um, so. He heard us. He yeah. heard us, but he didn't see us. <laughs> I was you pleased. Probably get in, you should probably get in a room and not be seen again. Yeah, I'm okay with that. What what time is it? Is it time to have a nap yet? Yeah, it's it's coming up sort of night time. <clears throat> hey, well here's the good news. I think I got the pass to fix the car. So you guys can bitch and whine at me if you like, but I feel like I did something constructive today. Okay, but I don't care that we don't have guns, but we don't have them all back. And if we were going to leave, we should probably leave right now. But I'm pretty sure everyone wants to get a good night's sleep for once. That'd be nice. <sighs> All right. Uh, are you positive so that those are the things that can fix the cart? I think so. No, I mean, I won't know till I try, right? I mean, like, genuinely, I won't know until I've done it. So I think, but hey, we'll have to give it a go. Okay. Um, I'm going to suggest that since you think you weren't seen but somebody knew you were there that uh since you're my guy that needs to go find what you need you should probably go try that now so that i don't have to take you with me tomorrow you want me to go back to that store no i want you to go to the cart and try fixing the damn thing <laughs> oh, okay okay Genuine... i'm sure, spencer, no, I'm I'm sure sorry, spencer is infuriated infuri uh, infuriatedly agreeing with me yeah yeah Spencer's, yeah, Mom looking, had, Spencer's yeah. looking at you and going, are you really married together? I thought uh, these two have found a bush. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, Spencer is like tisking as, as the story unravels about where you've been. Because later tomorrow, if you were seen and I bring you with me, we're dead. Oh, always look on the bright side of life. Hey, well, here's the thing. If we didn't have this cart, then we wouldn't be dead. But, you know, you know, that's about as strong as Munch's argument at this point is. <laughs> Spencer um, is okay with Munch. He's, he's not too um, 
he kind of likes munch generally so it's like oh my god it's like um he'll put up with him sort of thing um but he'll wander around with you if you're trying to fix the cut munch i am yeah i'm gonna use those parts I, i'm like particularly after i feel i was just questioned so i feel that i have to recover myself by showing i can get the cart wording working okay um Okay, so you will... I'm going to go check on Giovanni and go to bed in frustration. Daryl, what tools do you have? What what tools do I have? Let me yeah. check here. I can't remember what tools you I... said you had. Uh... I'm just thinking we don't have any tools. We've got the parts you want, but you need some tools. Oh, you're going to send me back to that place. I think they were, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they, they were uh, electronic tools or something, or just uh, general go. tools. Cool. cool. So, um, Munch, you realize that after you've like blurted out all of this information about how well you did, you sort of look at the front of the box and you realize you don't actually have a screwdriver uh, to repair things. Um, whilst you're doing that, Daryl looks at you and says... I got an oscilloscope. I, I'll take it. An oscilloscope, did you say? <laughs> oscilloscope. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure he does have an oscilloscope. I was going for screwdriver and my. <laughs> I've got a multi tool. <laughs> yeah. He has a oh, geez, Swiss I'm Army sorry. oscilloscope. <laughs> I, was, I, was thinking, I was thinking deep electronics, you know? <laughs> yeah um okay so yeah he um here are you gonna hand over the um stuff to uh munch yeah i need this back cool um so so munch you sort of look at the would-be doctor who's carrying around a um electronics toolkit with him (laughs) i got a quick question yep what's a test I need to use up a test? Or I'm not quite sure. Ah, oh, that's not you. It's not you. Uh, that goes to Mika. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Uh, it's just popped up in everybody's chat, unfortunately. Uh, Mika, you have to do that. Um, so, yeah. Um, Mika wanders around. Well, actually, Mika, you've got to do that. So what do you do? Uh, the wandering around or the test? Uh, the test. You've got to do that. Yeah. You, you know. I did that already. I'm trying to get my driver's license, so I need to keep doing this uh, this written exam until I pass it. <laughs> so, so ignoring that, what are you doing right now? Um, I, I'm working on. Well, I'm taking the oscilloscope, and I'm uh, I'm, I'm working on. I'm doing it. Oscilloscope. Okay, hold on one second. Let me let me uh, let me just ping here. Okay, I've just put something in your chat, uh, yep. in your Discord. Um, you can't just do it. Well, up to you if you want to do it. Um, so I, I'm I'm wandering off by myself, like to see if I can find more than an oscilloscope. Okay. Um. So Nate, what are you doing? Whilst um, Munch uh, wanders off. So you said it's spelled like night. Uh, it's coming up night now, yeah. Um. I'd reckon I just um. sort of like take back and not really do anything okay so you wander back into one of the rooms and chill out a bit yeah um anyone that checks on geo is is fully asleep uh christopher i guess you'll check in on him occasionally yeah um if it's a double i probably would have put him in a double bedroom and um probably pass it on the other one yeah, you've strapped um, some saline to him, 
and he's um, he's just resting. He's totally unconscious, and um, maybe you give him some um, drugs to ease the pain a bit. Yeah. And it, he's it, given his trauma. It's not surprising that he's what's it. You just you check that he's not in a coma every once in a while. Uh, yeah, but other than that, he seems fine. Spencer is uh, wandering around with you, Christopher. If you're if you're frustrated and gone back inside, he's going back inside where all the weapons are. Yep. Um, are you going to divvy them back out to people, or I I'm leaving that up to Spencer. I'm no part of that. Okay. I got half of them back for you, so that's up to you guys. Daryl, what are you doing? Well, after I get my weapon back, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to. Uh, I'd like to check out the 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 uh, empty rooms of the hotel. Kind of rummage through them, scavenge, see if there's anything worth taking. Okay, so as you're wandering around, um, sort of some some of the more distant rooms to see whether there's anything to um, that's good um, for taking, you see um, this guy um, just is. How are you? How are you wandering up, Mina, to Daryl? This guy, he's he's obviously uh, checking in rooms. What do you what do you uh, want to say? I'll, I'll say, hey, um, you know, I, I charge for all these rooms, so what are you going to pay me? <laughs> so, Daryl, uh, you see this hugely muscular guy that towers over the top of you saying um, that, you know, you're not entitled to wander around each of these rooms. Um, well, you need to pay. I expect payment first. <laughs> Are you with a group? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah? Kind of look around over his shoulder. You can't see a group, but it doesn't mean to say it doesn't have one. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, you got me. But um, how about you? Are you with the group? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and you've seen his group. All right, cool, cool. A really, uh, really big group. Oh yeah. Uh, do they happen to have any whey protein? Because <laughs> he looks like he needs some skinny. <laughs> <laughs> how to make friends and influence people? <laughs> they, they got they got lead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I got you. I got you. Um, I- I'm just looking for a place to sleep tonight. Oh, okay. Uh, do you want to come back with me? Got a tree. <laughs> Meet some people. I'm going to start like walking backward now back towards the group while, you know, keeping my eyes on them. Um, you gonna follow me now, or are you? I don't know. Boy, this is this is hard. <laughs> um, I said, not not good. Um, I'll just kind of hang back here, and uh, I, I'm gonna just try and scope out like a part of the hotel that's really abandoned and try and. They'll probably know that I'm there, but I'm gonna really, really try and just spy if I can, even though they know I'm there. So you you can open up one of the doors to one of the rooms and just casually walk in. Daryl's Daryl's kind of half the size you are, so you can just wander into one of the rooms and say, "This one's mine." Oh, that's cool. <laughs> this one's mine, and uh, you can come by later if you want. <laughs> Bring oh. a six pack. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Daryl's bringing a six pack, not without any, um, not not without. Um, a lifetime subscription to a gym and some more way. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, big fella walks in and introduce. Well, doesn't introduce himself and wanders into the um, one of the end rooms, Daryl, away from you guys. All right, I'm gonna run back to the group. Yeah. Daryl, I can just see Daryl. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> just running off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so, who whose Do doors are you banging on? Uh, the first, the first one I come to. Okay. Um, I'll roll for it. Um, uh, 
Okay. It's Christopher's and Spencer's in there oh, anyway. Joy. Yeah. I'm There's probably... a really big guy demanding money and beer. What? Spencer Room grabs. 42. Spencer grabs for gun. <laughs> of course he does. Because <laughs> yeah. he does. And whey protein. Okay, he's got my attention. I'm gonna assume. He me out. What's going on? Somebody's outside. Where is he? He didn't ask for what, so. Oh, he's in uh, room room forty-two. Okay. Christopher, you stay here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so Spencer walks out the front door uh, with uh, Daryl. You guys, we got a uh, we got a guest. He says, knocking on um, Nate's door. Um, Munch, you're around the you're around the back trying to fix the um, the car. You can hear a little bit of a commotion as Daryl runs around, but he hasn't. Were yeah. you screaming, Daryl, scream- or were you just? No, no, I wasn't okay. screaming. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you don't you don't notice any of this, so you can. You can be fixing the... Yeah, I'm just still working away. Cool. Uh, Nate, um, so yeah, uh, Spencer's just knocked on the door with a uh, gun in hand saying, um, we got guests. Are, are, are they from the town? He looks... Uh, Spencer looks at you quizzically, Daryl. I don't think so. Oh, I think it's a loner the hell is he doing out here uh big enough to handle himself that's what i think <laughs> intrigued i would uh sort of walk out into you know with them okay you got him here hallway. what <laughs> no no what who the hell has a beer bud light <laughs> Okay, Spencer just slaps you a little, um, Darren. Pull yourself together, man. And um, he strolls off down the car. Yeah. <laughs> For what that could save our life. Um, he wanders down, <coughs> wanders down the car. He points with his gun at, uh, was it 42 or 43? 42. 42. He points and, and sort of questions this one. He knocks on, uh, Spencer knocks on the door. Derek, are you opening the door? Yeah, I know there's, there's more than, more than one person out there. So I'm trying to steal myself up and prepare and I open the door slowly and, oh wait, is, is Daryl there? Uh, you can see Daryl just behind Spencer and another guy. So you, you can see, oops. Uh, you can see this guy and this guy. You are here. And Daryl is, whoops, uh, I'll just get rid of that. Uh, Daryl is here behind them, sort of trying to look over their shoulders like a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pretend I don't see the other, the other dudes and I kind of see Daryl. And I'll be like, oh, hey, what's up, Skinny? You made it back. Oh, <laughs> Want to come on in, guys? <laughs> okay. Spencer goes, um, <laughs> mm, you got any weapons, he says? Uh, no. I mean, I'm just looking for a place to stay. It's really cold. And uh, I'm hungry. I saw this hotel. And what about that big yeah, weapon? I'm not, I'm not going to bother anybody. Uh, your, your, uh, so you've got a, you've got a rifle, um, Mina. Oh, I Dar- did? Oh, crap, yeah, I didn't know that. Daryl would have seen it before, yeah, but you could have hidden it in the room if you wanted to. So you can say it's no. Bed. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, so Daryl, you know he has a gun, um, uh, but yeah, you don't have to say anything, obviously. Uh, okay, well, uh, you, you just pass him by, says Spencer, waving his pistol. 
and she said, yep, I, I'm just passing by. I tried to hunt some uh, raccoons, and it didn't go too well, and I'm just looking for a place to stay, man. <laughs> uh, where you heading? Uh, southwest, east, north. Um, uh, south. Okay. Uh, well, watch out for the town. They're um, not inclined to like um, visitors. Um, okay. Do well, have, do they have weight protein there? <laughs> well, we're doing a we're doing a trade tomorrow. Maybe um, maybe we can maybe you can sort something out. A trade what kind of trade uh i don't know uh just uh well we we've uh he, he looks at you and sort of catches himself instead of telling you stuff uh given you're a stranger and he says well you know we'll 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 trade what we have for maybe what we need um with the with the town south of us but like i say they don't like uh visitors so maybe don't maybe don't travel south anymore Well, uh, I do need supplies, and I might be able to to get some to trade. Uh, do you, you know these guys that you're going to trade with? Uh, no, there's just some sort of council for the town, town council. Don't know them. We're meeting them for the first time tomorrow. Sh they've got a sheriff. It sounds like they've uh, sort of got their shit together in the town. Well, uh, you you think I could go with you? I I promise I don't I don't mean any harm. I, I'm just trying to get by. And I, I won't be in your hair. Um, Spencer looks round. <coughs> excuse me. He turns away from you and looks at Daryl. Um, and he says um, he whispers, Daryl, go go out round to Munch and check he's okay. We don't know that this guy didn't turn up with any other guys. All right. Make Make a uh, perception roll for me, um, Mina. You should be able to click on your character and then just roll perception. Uh, sorry, uh, okay, and one... hit perception button at the top top of the screen. Okay, one second. Uh, how do I do that again? So click on your character, the the little image of you, the token, in the middle of okay. the screen. Okay. And then some buttons will turn All up right. at the top of the screen. The mid, just about middle is perception. They're right at the top of the screen. It says aim, attack, cooled shot, cover fire, defend. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. That's not right. not the character sheet. Let's no, no, the character sheet. Okay, so I click on Stop. my icon. Okay. Okay. And then I click on perception. That's it. And submit. Uh, yep. That's it. Okay. Oh, okay. So you see, you see um, Spencer, the guy with glasses, this guy. He turns around and talks to Daryl, but you can't oh, make out what, he's, you, what he said at all. Okay. She has a chance to re-roll if she wants to. Yeah, but she's not going to be able to with that. So, yeah, okay. not, not for a nine. Yeah. Um, so, you, uh, Mina, just, uh, I don't know what you've um, discussed with Zero um, prior. So, it, effectively, you've made a perception check, but you failed it. So, what's going to happen is you've seen this guy, uh, Spencer, the guy with glasses. Just going to ping him. See that guy? He's turned around and talked to Daryl, but you can't hear what he's saying. OK, um, but okay. you've you've rolled so badly with two two ones that you got what's called a distemper <laughs> dice uh, and a distemper dice will help you with further rolls in the future. And what we'll do is I'll allow zero to uh, explain that to you uh, sort of later date. Um, so zero, if you want to, I'll leave you on a map at some okay. point if you haven't finished explaining everything. Is that cool? Sure. Cool. Um, so, yeah, Daryl Daryl then wanders off, yeah, around the back and bumps into uh, Munch around the back trying to fix the um, 
uh, solar things. So, Munch, can you give me a um, a mechanics roll, please? Yep. <clears throat> All right, hold on one second. Ah. Hey, look at Boom. That. Okay, so you take apart the uh, piece that is busted, okay, and you free it all up. You got the uh, wires all free. Um, and make a, another one to install the new parts. All righty. Uh... Hey, cool. look at that. Okay. So, Daryl, as you're, as you're getting there, you see Munch go, woo, and um, he's, uh, he's pulled apart the parts that don't work, seemingly, and he's just tightening the last of the screws to um, the... Uh, inverter uh, that was busted so the bullet hole one is now on the floor next to his feet and um, the the new one's installed munch uh, you can't tell if it's working yet because it's it's dark now yeah it's coming up the, it's, it's well into the evening um so you'll need to test this in the morning all righty but you're pretty sure you've done as good a job as you're as you're gonna um and Sorry, Gom. I am the munch. But I mean, yeah. I don't do half things half ass when it comes to this. I am the mechanic <laughs> munch. Yeah. Um, are you, Daryl, you can take his, um, you can take your um, oscilloscope plus <laughs> still get back. If you want. Um, <coughs> and you both uh, wander around the front of the uh, motel. So, um, Spencer sort of talks to you some more, um, trying to get some information out of you. Derek, are you letting him have any information or are you just being sort of vague about yourself and where you came from? I'll be vague. I'm just saying I'm just trying to get by. Yep. Okay. So Spencer says, um, okay, so, um, yeah, you guys, uh, we'll, 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 We'll stay at this end of the motel. How about you stay at the other end of the motel? And when the um, sheriff turns up tomorrow, um, we'll we'll make an introduction. How's that sound? Yeah, sounds good. But, I mean, for real, if you guys want to just come on over later, I mean, I'm sure the game's on. The TV, the TV's right there. <laughs> yeah, we're, the, the so TV stopped working ages ago, but, yeah, it will assume that's a joke to Spencer. Spencer says, uh, the only thing on the box at the moment is dust. <laughs> I didn't like that series. Yeah, it was a joke, man. <laughs> yeah. If you've got the DVD collection and how I met your mother, that's also playing. Yeah. Okay, Spencer will walk down. Um, he's not letting go of his um, gun and he says to everyone, okay, maybe we need to double up in the rooms instead of one room each and post guard. What do you reckon? Safety in numbers. Yeah. I don't trust any of you, but I trust you more than I trust these guys. No. And what with the Incredible Hulk at the other end of the uh, yeah. of the motel? Uh, <laughs> we need to be sure. Um, okay, so are you guys posting posting watch? <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm willing to take first watch. Like, I'm a little bit nervous still, like staying here. So I actually, I think James Bond would would probably like Spencer. I think he'd probably go for the watch first, but I would certainly take my vote or my my turn rather. Okay, uh, yeah, definitely Lou. Uh, all right, so let's do this one. I just need to put everyone in the party. I'm just going to move you back down here so I can see everyone back in there. There we go. Uh, who's taking what roles? Uh, I'll take first one so I can get more sleep. Okay. Okay, and um, so during the night, basically, uh, sorry, who's taking second watch? Uh, once I watched them walk back from the thing with that incident, I probably just promptly hopped back into bed. Okay, so uh, um, Spencer will take second watch. Then he doesn't like um, he doesn't like that there's uh, another guy at the other end of the 
no tell. Um, Munch, you can then go back to sleep. Um, and you. Nate, are you taking a watch? Sure. Okay, so you take third watch, which will be the morning. So Daryl will sleep all the way through. Okay, so uh, first watch, second watch um, goes okay. Third watch, on the other hand, Nate, make a perception roll for me, please. Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> Man, he's wide awake. He found some caffeine somewhere. Yeah, Nate, you can from the north. You um, you get the feeling there are maybe people coming. Well, I say maybe there's more than one person coming and you recognize like stealthy movement. Um, it's coming to sort of very, very early morning, sort of four or five o'clock in the morning. Like how far away would they be or can I? Um, they're pretty decent at it. They're, they're uh, 100 meters away, less sort of... Some are a hundred meters. Some of the uh, are less. So some are some are within fifty, maybe. You can tell there's at least three. Shit. Um. Would I have enough time to? Uh, oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, can I just notify? Notify the other guys? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'd go to wake up Spencer and tell him. Yep. So Spencer rouses pretty quick, grabs his gun, um, and they're coming from the re rear of the motel forward. And you're all on the front of the hotel. So you wake up Spencer, Spencer... Um, gets up quickly and um, opens the door to Christopher room, Christopher room and tells him to quick get ready some people coming I assume you've told him some people are coming okay. um, are you knocking on anyone else's door Nate uh, or are you just knocking on everybody's door yeah I just knock on everyone's door okay uh, anyone, uh, are you ignoring big guy or? Yeah, I'll ignore big guy. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So all the front doors are knocked. Uh, what are you doing directly afterwards, Nate? Uh, so, uh, so I'm assuming I don't have my gun. Uh, you have access to a hand pistol if you've got a pistol. Have you got a pistol? Uh, all right. Um, yeah, you've got your pistol. All right. Um, so it's Luke. This is... Uh, I'll just wait for everyone else to get ready and go with them. Okay. Um, Spencer's grabbed his gun. Um, Christopher, what are you doing? Um, I'm probably trying to get Giovanni up, see if he's capable of doing anything. If he definitely needs a hand to get moved in case we need to move and packing up whatever meds I've got. Okay, so, them. so he looks... He's still really injured um to move him you can move him he'd probably stagger around a bit but he's he's definitely going to be very slow going if if you're doing yeah that. i'm going to get him ready in case we need to move okay uh can you take your weapon off for me because you won't have a weapon much what are you doing you've just heard a tap tap well, tap it's, it's knocked you out of uh your sleep cycle whoops I think you still had the um, sheriff's yeah. gun. Sorry, I was on mute. So I, 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 I'd go and open my door, but I'm in my tighty whitey, so I would pull the door <laughs> a little bit, just like a cracker sliver, because I don't want anyone seeing me in my munches, you know? Yeah. Except for your roommate. Thank you. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's roommate. Double, right? Yeah. Uh, so, Nate, what are you telling Munch? 
He, you you can see him in his. Uh, you can see through a slither of the door, and you see him in his tighty whities. Tidy off. Hell out of here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say in incredibly tidy whities. <laughs> Yeah, incredibly tidy off whiteies. Yeah, so so I like Nate, what's going on? Get, out. Get the hell out here. There's uh a few people uh outside like behind you, the motel. You definitely know right. they're sneaking as well. Nate. Yeah, they're uh, yeah, stealthily. They're self uh, they're stealthily sneaking around. There's uh three of them. All right, so I'm gonna get my oh, uh, pistol. So I'm gonna get my hand pistol and ready my weapon. And I'm also gonna put some some tr- pants on, like some trousers on. I'm not gonna go outside in my tidy <laughs> white. I'm too self conscious. Okay, Daryl, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, he's he banged on the the door. All right, yeah. I'll, I'll get up, get my stuff ready. Okay, you can overhear him saying to Munch that um, there's at least three guys sneaking up. All right, I'll join them. <laughs> okay. Um, if you're armed, arm yourself. Um, if you're not, don't arm yourself. I'm going to say that they're doing this relatively stealthily, Derek, so you're still going to be asleep again. Well, we don't know who these guys are, right? Uh, no, you don't know who these guys are. Uh, so, so this is like at five o'clock. Nate, I'm assuming you're um, you're packing. So ready your weapon and put a gun in your hand. Cool. Bro. Okay, cool. Okay, so as you guys are readying up and coming out the front of your doors... You can see um, a in the distance. You can see towards the um, towards the town, or actually, it's it's coming down this road over here from the south, and it takes a uh, a swerve at this junction here, and then starts coming towards you. It's the cop car, but it's got the um, it's not got the cop siren going, but the red lights on. Okay. Are you doing anything? Other than watching him, me? No. Okay. Probably got my head out the door looking out the window, seeing it. Okay. Spencer says, this can't be good. How can it be bad? (laughs) You guys wandering around in the dark? They can't be up to it. I mean, like, they they must have good intentions, right? (laughs) Yeah, man. He uh, Spencer looks around at Munch and remembers what you were doing yesterday and says, maybe you need to not be seen, you two. Um, Nate and Munch. Maybe you should hide a second. Let's see what... Well, uh, as, the, as the car comes closer, if everybody's allowing that to happen, um, you can see it's the sheriff that's driving it. But it's not, is it a cop car? Yeah, it's the cop car. It's got um, it's got the lights going, the red light going, the strobe. All right, but it doesn't um, have the I'm siren going. And the chair's in just outside Harry. my door and yeah. wave in the air. Okay, cop car comes to a thundering um, stop, juddering along. Oh boy! And um, maybe put my hand down nervously. Sheriff gets out. Sheriff, you're a little early. Yeah. Um, had some reports last night. Last night? Yeah, I'm a little worried about you guys. So I thought I'd turn up quickly. Well, I can tell you we were all in our rooms overnight. One moment, one moment. He um he I, I... He, he wanders up to you and he's he is his face looks like he's super pissed. Yeah. Um, and he says, um, I thought I could trust you guys. To, to do what? Uh, just to be, you know, good citizens and do what you was told. Oh, sure. If we, we have been good citizens and do what we told. 
yeah, we were in the motel rooms all, all night. We had one guy standing outside, maybe watch, but we were all in our rooms in the dark. Yeah. Let's just avert this trouble while we can. You guys stay here a second. And he wanders to the side of the building. He goes, Joe! Joe! And he's call- he seems to be calling out into nowhere land. Okay, it's off, Chris. He's, Joe, come out. And you can you can hear some shuffling and ruffling. Several um, several people come out from the undergrowth. They've got shotguns and um, a mixture of um, uh, rifles and sort of hunting rifles and small pistols. Um, and there's there's six people there from the back of the motel. Yeah, uh, well, they're half surrounding it, sort of a semicircle. If you imagine, um, let me draw yeah. up. Um, around the back of the hotel, sort of thing like that. I'm gonna zoom in for that. Okay. Uh, so six people sort of come around the side. They're, they're I mean, they're decently armed. Um, most people aren't heavily, heavily armed anymore. They don't have that much stuff. But um, sure. they're coming in from all sides of the back. No one from the town side. More of the reports you have, Sheriff. Um, okay. Uh, first of all, let's uh, let's put your guns away. He's talking to you guys. While all this is going on, can I like maybe like sneak off in the back and maybe try to head towards uh, Derek's room? Yep. Uh, make a uh, stealth check. All right. I'm I'm adding a dice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smart move. <laughs> yeah. He makes that. Okay. So um, whilst, <coughs> whilst you're all doing that, um, Daryl sneaks off before the um, sheriff comes back around the front and you guys see that he's um, whizzing off down the corridor to where in Derek's direction. So I'll put you over here. Derek. Um, and you guys are still around the front. There's, there's, there's like, say, six people, um, and you don't know if anybody else is coming, seven including the sheriff. Uh, I right. think you guys uh, lose the weapons, please. Before this gets ugly. No. Yeah, I'm going to look at Spencer and give him the look. Tell him to do it. Do it or don't do it. To, to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Spencer um, grumpily looks at you again as if to question um, I, if there's a guy with a rifle standing right next to me <laughs> I don't know how to purvey a look of like look <laughs> yeah. he, he, what yeah. are you going to do <laughs> yeah, okay he looks at you a bit disgruntled and sort of clicks the safety and puts his gun down on the on the ground. His face looks like fire, you know. <laughs> Doesn't like oh, it. I figured he'd holster it. No. Well, he's he's assuming you want him to mm. give it up, give it up. Uh Munch, what are you doing? Um I I I'm I'm a little bit freaked out by what's going on, right? So at this point I feel like I'm just following along and just kind of waiting. I, I'm not an overly vicious or violent guy, right? So I think I'm going to be taking my lead from others. So I'll be just watching what's going on. Okay. Uh, so are you draw, uh, Sheriff looks at you and goes, you two, you two. And has everyone else dropped their gun? Uh, Spencer has right now. Spencer has. Nate, are you dropping your gun? Uh... He hasn't asked the villagers to, or the townspeople to drop theirs. You know, if if Spencer's dropped his gun, then I'm probably going to drop my gun. Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah. he's James Bond, right? I mean, if Jack reaches, they're like dropping his weapon. I'm not going to keep mine. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget, you lost a little faith in Jack Reacher when he shot um, the wall plenty of times. <laughs> Mind you, you did shoot. You did shoot him. Uh, so. Okay. So Spencer's put his down. Um, Munch is putting his down. Nate. I'll put mine down. Okay, so um, 
the sheriff says, um, okay, you guys, um, look, I'm not going to, um, I, I, I did, or did I, or did I not tell you the guys don't like, uh, take too kindly to people being in the town? You did say something about that, yeah. And did you or did you not go into town? Um, I've been here the whole time. I've been taking care of the sick guy that you can maybe see through the window. Yeah, uh, on that, where is he? Uh, he points to one of the guys with one of the shotguns and points to the room that he thought he was in. And um, he uh, he looks inside. Okay, to Giovanni, yeah, I walk over yeah. the door. Yeah, I walk over the door and show him that he's kind of splayed out on the bed. Yeah, he's in there. He says, and he goes, "Good." Okay, guys. Uh, wait a minute. One, two, three. Where the hell is the other one? Where's the scrawny little out. bugger? Who are we missing? Where's the scrawny git? Bunchy, go back in the room. I'm, I'm, I by nobody's stretch of the imagination, my the scrawny guy. So, who are we talking about? <laughs> no, I said, did he go back in the room? Because you I, guys I, were either you were rooming together or you were next door to each other. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, no, he went back in the room. I think I wasn't paying that, that much attention. I was asleep, I think. Sounds like it. <laughs> <laughs> He's still, <laughs> still, still wiping sleep out of his eyes, you know. Yeah. Um, Lunch is confused. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. The, the the sheriff points at one of the guys and just points at another one of the doors. Which one of the which one of the rooms? I assume this is the munch question. Yeah, I point to the room. I wouldn't be giving anything from the sheriff. Okay. So the um, the guy with the shotgun, one of the other villagers, walks up and he just slides the door open very gently, takes a quick look inside. He says, nobody in here that I can see. He says, check the bathroom. And he wanders inside and you can hear some some shoveling and some moving of stuff. And um, he, he soon comes out and he just says, nope, no one in here. Um, let's go over to Daryl and uh, Derek. Daryl, you sprint down the corridor. Um, what are you doing? Do I get to the room? Yep. Oh. Derek, you wake up to the sound of some knocking on your door. Oh, I think I've already been up. I've been, I couldn't sleep. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, in which case you, here. yep, you know that plenty is going on then. Uh, yeah. And the, the scrawny kid is uh, at your door. And, and so I, I crack it open a little bit. Oh, hey, skinny, what's up? Hey, you friendly? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm wanna... talking to you, right? Well, we might have some trouble up front. Do you want to come help? Trouble? Uh, what do you mean? What's up? You know, the kind where you gotta grab that gun. What? What gun? <laughs> I point to the one by by the uh, the door. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> 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 all, right. <laughs> all, all right, you got me, bro. <laughs> um, as, as, can you tell me what's going on, though? Uh, there may not be time. You, maybe we could explain as as we go. All right, go ahead, lead the way. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Sure, and then I get behind him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what the hell, Kenny? So Hulkster's walking down the corridor. Are you heading towards... Uh, you can see uh, red strobing lights outside the front if you want to go towards them. Is this like an open motel where you can like from the parking lot see like every room? Um, most of it is, but there's like a corridor down the side that isn't, which is where you left uh, Derek because that was yeah as okay, far as I was as wondering he could how he's going to stealth away. Yeah, no, nah, he's he can either okay. come around the corner and be seen by everyone, or you can decide what you want to do before you get seen because um, the cop brought everybody around the front. 
from the villagers, or you think he has? Oh, wait, me? Go around the corner? Or? Yeah. So do you want to go oh, towards all the lights and stuff, or do you want to stay hidden? I, I'm staying hidden, but I'm going to try and get a good vantage point to see what's going on. And okay. I'll just hang back and, and try and, if anything bad happens, I could kind of try and defend my new allies. Okay. So can you guys, can both of you give me a hunting roll, please? Interesting choice. Yeah. Only because. Only because I'm going to roll one. Hunting? Huh? Yeah. Where's so, that? like, probably on your character sheet. sheet. Oh, character sheet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay, don't worry. Yeah, I think that puts the most common ones at the top. Uh, so uh, my guy just failed his hunting roll. So it, 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 there's a guy clearly coming from behind you. He stood on a, uh, I'm going to say um, he um, knocked over some of the old cardboard that was uh, leaning up against the back of the motel. So instead of hunting you, um, you've just seen right through it and um, uh, know exactly where he was coming from as you were trying to look around the front. So you can see that you're already, you've already been spotted by one person coming from behind still. So what do you want to do? Okay. I want to keep him quiet because I do not want anyone to know that I'm here. Um, you, uh, he's a distance away from you so he's sneaking around in the undergrowth trying to get to you so he's hunting you basically um, but you've seen him yeah so I guess um, I'll, I'll point my rifle at him said, and, and tell him to be quiet and stay right there okay <laughs> we're gonna go to uh... Okay, you you point your rifle at him, and he uh, he looks at you, and he's pointing his rifle at you, and oh, he has he, a gun! Oh crap! <laughs> yeah, he he points at you. Sorry, my bad. So he's hunting you, and he's not using his fingers. Um, he's he's oh got a rifle. God. So he's he's pointing at you. He he puts his hands to his lips and goes shh, and he points downwards, uh, like points at your rifle and says, like lower it. And, and so I wisely lower it. <laughs> okay. So, oh, please resist. Yeah. So now he points and tells you to go around the front of the building. And, and then I guess I, I comply. Okay. So um, Guy comes around uh, with you, um, a bit embarrassed that he couldn't sneak up on you. Um, uh, but he has found you and he goes, Hey, Sheriff found some more. And, um, the Sheriff looks up expecting to see Daryl doesn't see Daryl. He sees this big hulking Goliath. And he goes, Jesus Christ. Where'd you fail? Did you find him? <laughs> I jump. I respond in a gasp and say, I, I don't even know who that is with genuine surprise. Like, I don't know who that is either. <coughs> Daryl, what are you doing? He, he uh, eventually Daryl comes around the corner as well. And he goes, ah, there's the little scrawny one. Uh, I guess I stayed behind them as that whole drama went down. If we don't shoot them. <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So uh, imagine he was, um, he, he was on the lookout for, you know, five people. He knew that there were how many of you there were, and you didn't have you weren't all covered. So he's still hunting oh, around see. for you, which is why he was hunting. Um, uh, and you failed. To, he failed his hunting full stop. So um, he didn't even sneak up on you. At which point you guys saw him, but at which point he's got a rifle. You've got a rifle, and he told oh, uh, Derek to push his down. I'm going to look at Spencer and say, is that the guy from last night? Uh, yeah, he's kind of hard to miss, eh? <laughs> uh, well, Sheriff, uh, still not before night or not during the nightfall. 
um, we seem to have had a a uh, a lone wanderer come into the camp looking for a night to sleep. So but sheriff it was before dark. Okay, sheriff walks over to you, uh, Derek, and tips his hat back, and he goes, "Where you come from? And did you did you go into town? That's the big important question, I guess." Uh, uh, no, sir. I was, I'm just, uh, trying to get by and, uh, I haven't been to any towns. As a matter of fact, I was trying to hunt some raccoons last night and it did a terrible job and uh, I got tired. I saw this hotel and, uh, yeah, I, I don't know of any towns. Okay. So we're all in the room together with him, right? Uh, you're outside the front of the, front of the main room, which was your, uh, which was Spencer's room. Oh, can we hear what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in, you're in front, and they they've wandered around to where you guys are. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of push back on the sheriff a little bit, right? And I'm gonna say, hey, you've asked all of us now. You've talked to us, like 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 none of us know what's going on. What what, what is it you think happened? Uh, I don't think I know what happened. Um, hold on one second, though. Um, um, he looks at you oh, and yes. there you go. Let me introduce you to Gleason. And you see this um this guy here. Um oh, and, he, and he's got a shotgun and um he's um he's uh, been auditing the stuff around the town. Okay. And seeing what's useful around the town and what ain't useful around the town. And um, it's going around all the buildings. Let me tell you a story. Go around all the buildings, find out what's useful, put them at one side of the uh, building, find all the rubbish, put it at the other side of the building. And um, so Gleason the other night, would you believe, is in the um, uh, Solar Kingdom. And he's doing a stock take, and he's got all of his boxes in one area, and he has all of the rubbish at the other end of the um, of the warehouse. And he's in doing the maths, and he hears something outside, and he turns off his light. And would you believe somebody comes in? Now, that wouldn't happen to be any of you guys, would it? In what the what of the night, would we you know? possibly want in Solar Kingdom? I, I asked, not looking in the direction <laughs> of Solar Carp. <laughs> you do remember that you told him that you had a busted car, yeah? <clears throat> and he goes, now, of course, it wasn't you guys that went in there. Um, it was some other fellas that looked just like you guys. Yeah, so I, I, we saw them last night. We saw them creeping along the horizon, <laughs> and it was like this weird, bizarro world versions of us. So we saw them, but nothing to do with us. Are you actually saying that? I, does anyone have a better idea, or do you want to stop me? Because <laughs> right now, I'm going to it out, because I, I, I just got caught red-handed, and so I, I don't realize, know. Yeah. As I realize what you're doing, you're going to stop much. On... Sheriff, hand to God, swear to it's the truth. Last night we didn't do a thing. We were all here at the motel. We stayed in our room. We had one guy out keeping watch in the in the lot here. Everyone was in their room. And I'm pretty sure they were watching Lou Ferrigno down there, making sure he was staying in his room especially. Look guys, I uh I got I can't help you if you're gonna lie. Look. These guys, uh, you, you're going to get what you wanted, which is uh, a meeting with the uh, town council. But, um, you know, I, I'm kind of here for the law and I got to put it into effect. So while it ain't as good as it could be and you won't get as good a you know trial as you could have done, um, you, you got to face the consequences. So I feel like it's time to tell him the truth. So I, I'm going to look over at Christopher <laughs> and point at him and be like, it was him. It was him. No, I'm kidding. And me? <laughs> Why am I still blaming me for it? Munch is just freaking out and pointing at the nearest person. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, anyone, anyone but me. Um, okay. Uh, now, I'm not going to give everybody... I, I, I don't think this is a breakpoint thing. This is a... Uh, that's sort of... Uh, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Um, but I'm not going to give everybody a breakpoint because now everybody's just full of adrenaline and stuff. It's not really occurring to people what this means, yeah? What he does is he points to um, the guys and he just says, uh, "Collect up the weapons. Um, you guys can come with. Uh, you guys can come with me." He says, and he um, takes you down. Um, he, he sort of points away and he goes, "We'll walk." And um, he turns off the light in the car and locks up the car at the front. And you're sort of followed by a procession of these um, now seven guys with guns. Um, they take your um, guns off of the floor and he, he says, um, put them in the back of the car. Look, you guys, if you, uh, if you um, when you come back up here, you can take your guns and leave. Um, but um, look, make sure you stay higher than the highway next time. Um, oh, were we being marched? Yeah. out of the town. I'm sorry, go on. Literally, you're being marched down this road here. Uh, whoops, this road here. Uh, come on, ping. Down here, down here, and down here. Uh, okay, so I, before we before we leave, I protest to the sheriff that I go hook up another bag for Giovanni while we're gone. Um, he says. Um, just sailing bag just to keep him while he's there. He says, wait here. And he walks inside and he goes, yeah, okay, I can confirm that at least he wasn't part of this. He, he's in no fit state to move. In fact, he probably, uh, I'm even going to say he wasn't part of this. So um, he doesn't even need to come. Uh, he will, um, he'll leave someone with him and say, um, he'll ask you what needs to be done. And you can give details about what needs to be done. The guy writes it down, scribbles it down on a piece of paper and sits with uh, Giovanni. So you've got now six guys and the sheriff with you wandering down into Livermore. Um, down into the center. Reassuring a little bit. Say again. As I said, it's reassuring a little bit. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you won't get back. mugged. <laughs> you won't get mugged on the <laughs> way. <laughs> it's not like we won't walk back. No. Um, so he wanders you down. Is anybody doing anything or not? Uh, you know, I mean, um, so l let me just ask you. I, I, yep. can, did, I, can I make a perception check and, and see whether – not a perception check. I, I'm, I'm, I'm weighing up whether or not I should come clean. Like, because, again, Munch is not a very good liar, right? And so I feel like I'm getting this kicked out of town because I was trying to get the cart working. So – I'm debating whether or not I think the uh, the roll a, a D two for what? <laughs> yes or no? Flip a coin. Yeah, no, unless yeah. you have a unless you have a weight to it. That's what. Okay, so earlier when you saw me roll a D three when Derek rolled up, I in my mind I threw. I'm either dead asleep, I'm groggy, woken up, or I'm full awake on that. I just did that just for me. But if you feel heavily about it, I would throw a weight to it and just roll it if you want to take a chance. Yeah, I guess I'm trying to get more, and maybe I'm, I'm th overthinking. I'm trying to get a read on the cop and whether or not I think he's really just interested in finding out. I guess I'm trying to decide: am I going to make the situation better or worse if I do this? I don't know. You went and stole you, the parts down there earlier. <laughs> are you asking? I him feel like you probably would. <laughs> you. You know that the cop is not just running you out of town because he's taking you into town and it's a procession into town and not letting any of you sort of make a break for it deliberately. Um, yeah. So they're sort of um, surrounding you, taking you down. They feel like you're not going to be any trouble given they've got guns and you don't have them. Um, but the cop is... He's kind of infuriated. He, he's gone past the being really angry. He's he looks frustrated and just dejected as you're walking. It takes you a while to get down there. All right. So I, I unless someone's going to stop me, I am going to tell him the truth, right? And I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to be as earnest as Munch can be, and I'm going to say to him, 
Hey, listen, I panicked when you asked me, but here is the truth. We didn't think anyone would care. We didn't think anyone would have any use for these parts. As, as, I, as, you, as you're talking, he says, maybe you shouldn't be saying anything until you see your lawyer. <laughs> oh okay, I'm going says... to take it in. Like, anytime a cop tells me to stop talking, <laughs> I think I should listen. <laughs> you, you all have rights, as little as they will be, but, uh, yeah, you, you've all got... Uh, uh maybe maybe you see maybe talk to your lawyer and see what they say first Better um, so. yeah <laughs> okay so he takes you down and you know by uh sunrise you're sort of down and you see what looks like a um a courthouse um oh, no. and you're and you're heading towards it in the distance <laughs> can't be a bad thing can it I mean, courthouses never go wrong for anyone, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially in the normal world. Yeah, right. Uh, whoops. Um, let's just do this. You're gonna you're gonna be uh, busting the deal the deal and then facing the wheel, I think. Okay, so he stop. He, um, whoops. Pass. What? Okay, so you wander into the front of the courthouse, and there's um, there's no one at the front apart from um, a uh, another cop, and the sheriff takes you in, and he just says, "Look, you ain't, you guys ain't going to be any trouble, are you? Well, any more trouble than you've been already." No, sir. No, sir. Okay. Well, he, no, sir. Well. No, 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 sir. <laughs> I'm well, half tempted to reach over to slap much. Are you going to be in trouble? Well, <laughs> you find trouble, sir. No, he, sir. He points down uh, here. He says, go through the corridor, take your first right, he says. And uh, Spencer's sort of uh, wandering in front of um, Christopher, make sure nothing happens. Um, and you'll eventually come and you you sit over here. Um, and he he tells you to sit over here. Um, By our lawyer. Fair, yeah. So this this guy um, here watches you come in, and he sort of points where you should be sitting alongside um, the sheriff that that comes in. And uh, this guy walks out and goes over to here. And um, whoops. Am I separate yeah. for some reason? Say again. Where are you? Am I separated? Separated for some? I'm in the hallway in the middle. Oh, sorry. No, you're not. Me just. Okay. I'm just short one person. There we go. So this guy introduces himself and he says, uh, um, "Hi, y'all. Um, I'm Craig. I will be your <clears throat> defense attorney." Right there, over there is Judge. I suggest uh, you don't say anything. And uh, that over there is Lance. Lance is the prosecution. The sheriff, uh, sheriff takes us sheriff, sheriff takes us underneath. Now, Craig, this is this guy oh, at okay. the front. He, he says, look, I'm the local GP for the place. Um, I understand some charges have been brought against you. And um, look, I'm not very good at this. I've got to be honest with you. So uh, let's try and make this as quick as possible and uh, get you out of here. Oh, dear. Lance, Lance oh, looks over at you. Delivering doctor. Yeah, Lance looks over at you and he looks meaner than meaner than mean. And that's the prosecution, right? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Guy up here smashes his um, um, his little hammer. I think they call it a gaggle. Gaggle? Gaggle, yeah. Gaggle. Um, gaggle. Uh, and he introduces himself as Judge Barrett. Um, and he says, look, while we ain't properly, um, properly got no courtroom um people to handle things like this we 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 see justice we dispense it and we dispense it hard and that stops people from pissing around in our town we've had too much and we get rid of it and it's dealt with kind of 
kind of one offense in your act. Let's just say that. Well, out what? Like, like, what does he mean? Like, banished from the town or, like, you know, uh, hung out to dry? What does he Silence mean? Silence in my car. <laughs> he says. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was coming up. Yeah. Prosecutor, stop. He, he clearly doesn't know what he's doing, but he, he's, he's there. He goes, <laughs> jurors, you ready? And they're all sort of milling around slightly. Half of them are trying to brush, like, sleep out of their eyes. And Lance gets up and he goes, so, jurors, uh, we have here a simple case of theft. And we know what we do with theft, don't we? We don't stand for it. These guys came uh, into our town after being told by the sheriff and uh, not to do anything and not to even come into town. They came into the town anyway and decided to rob us. And, uh, yeah, we got evidence. They ain't got no evidence. And, uh, yeah, that'll be it. And uh, we'll uh, sort this out real quick. That's so me, Your Honor. I, I'm just going to stand up and say, I object, and then sit down. <laughs> Craig, Craig looks around and just, he's just got like this horrible look on his face. And he's, he's like, Sh- shut up. Um, and the um, the judge says, "What do you object to? I object to you standing up in my courtroom." Oh, yeah, that's a good one, judge. And I sit down again. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, he says, um, uh, "Defense, opening, whatever, statement. Yeah, opening statement." Uh, and Craig gets up and he goes. Um, well, I don't know these guys, but, um, yep, they were uh, told to uh, stay on the other side of the highway. And, uh, yeah, they uh, kind of stayed on the other side of the highway. And uh, there's no evidence to say that they didn't stay on the other side of the highway. And, uh, yeah, they're just going about their business and they'll be uh, they'll be off when uh, we've decided that, uh, yeah, they were on the other side yeah. of the highway all along. Uh, Christopher, yep. The judge points at you and says, yes. Can I have a word, my lawyer, please? Brief minute. Yeah, yeah that's your right, he says. Uh, I think my Craig, Craig, please. Oh, Craig, comes, Craig comes around. Or Craig, yeah. Yeah. Craig, what exactly are the charges and the maximum punishment for this? Uh, you don't want to know the maximum punishment. They're pretty uh, un- intolerable them. of uh, theft, he says. The, uh, don't Are take kindly to us. To die? Uh, not if I can help it, he says. Please, uh, can we represent ourselves? Um, well, yeah, sure, you can represent yourselves if you want. That's your right. I stand no, up and oh. take again. <laughs> I'm on a... um, the the judge not points at you and goes. The judge points over to you with his gavel and he just says, "Shut that man up." <laughs> The sheriff comes over go. behind you and puts his hand on your uh, the back of your shoulder, um, Munch, and says, maybe you shouldn't be getting up anymore. Yeah, I object and sit down. <laughs> okay. Uh, do, you, do you want me to ask the judge if you can uh, defend yourselves? I think this might work out better. Okay. Um, judge, approach the bench. Go on. And he wanders up, and Derek wanders over. They they mumble to each other, and you can't hear what's being said. And um, Lance looks over his shoulder at you, and he's got this like maniacal look on his face. Uh, you recognize him as the guy with the bins, and he goes and sits down. Oh, so that's something Munch and Nate would notice. Only only those two, yeah. Um, and the and and Craig just wanders back over here and. Sits, on, sits down on one of the... Um, on seats. the prosecution side, great. <laughs> well, that's just the closest, <laughs> closest bench. Yeah. Um, the, the judge looks over at you and says, uh, I understand the uh, prosecuted want to, or the defendants, want to uh, look after themselves. Is that correct? Yes, if you don't mind. Why, sure, we're accommodating. So I'll start walking I, my way up here. You want to make a uh, opening statement? 
So we came to this town, we met the sheriff, a wonderful individual, and we initially were passing through hoping to find something we could trade real quick. We just needed something very simple, and he suggested we go to town. He was going to come talk to you folks. He came back, told us we'd meet in the morning. Unbeknownst to us, uh, a few of our compadres may have taken off in that moment. I'm neither confirming or denying, but I can tell you the majority of us were men of our word and had no idea what they were doing. If you a want the God's honest truth, then there you go. A majority of you? Does that mean some of you shouldn't be stand, standing trial? I would agree with that. So uh, are, you, are you offering that some of you are definitely guilty and some of you are not guilty? There's a big, I, yes. there's a big <laughs> from, the, um, from the people over here. <laughs> <laughs> yes sir and if it makes at all a difference we as a group were earnestly coming in to trade my medical services potentially for some goods so what you're saying is a few of you came in here robbed us and definitely several of you didn't let me let me uh, i'm just getting this clear for the uh, prosecutor if I had known what they were doing, at least half of us would have stopped them and told them to wait. I have excoriated them thoroughly in the process after finding out what they have done. Okie dokie. So um, does that mean we can just get down to the sentencing? Says, uh, says Lance over here. Oh, I object. Well, to that, I'd like to ask, what are the Before, actual charges? And um, what is the punishment for said charges? The sheriff literally, every time Munch takes a breath, sticks his hand on his shoulder quickly before he before he moves. Um, yeah, I point to his head. I object to that, too, but I, I know when I'm beaten. <laughs> yep. Okay, so, uh, well, uh, look, you, you guys are on trial. If you're saying that it's uh, definitely some of you, uh, some of you other guys, uh, we know it's two. Um, so, you know. Well, I can tell you that as long as you are, I can tell you that if you know it's two of us, I can tell you the rest of us were definitely not involved with that. Okay. Spencer says, um, Spencer looks around and looks at Munch. Munch, what are you? What are you looking like? Very nervous. I'm like I might object again. No, I, 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 I'm, I'm inclined to come clean at this point. Like I feel like I mean things are going horribly wrong, right? And so I've just got thrown under the bus a little bit, right? Because he's kind of like he's, he's, you know. Anyone that didn't break the law, step over to the left. Hey, Munch, where are you going? I feel that's what just happened here, right? So <laughs> I feel like wanting I... to help him out, I'm going to look at him, see his face, and tell him to come up to me. And I'm sure the sheriff is probably going to roll his eyes. Okay. Come up to you. As, yes. as you're doing that, Spencer says, he looks at Munch, and um, I mean, he kind of likes Munch. So Spencer says... Yeah, okay, Judge. Uh, it's uh, you. You got us. It, it wasn't actually two people. It was me. And he he wanders saying and he goes, I, I I throw myself on the mercy of the court uh, as long as my uh, fellow fellow compatriots uh, can be left. I look at Spencer. Say, Spencer, what are you doing? And he looks around and he says, um, Well, you know, it's a fair cop. It's it's me. I'm waiting for the judge to say something. I'm sure he's going to cut me off. The The judge looks down um, at Spencer over the top and he says, so you're going to take the, um, you're going to be the patsy. Uh, and he, he, he looks over um, uh, at the defense guy and he says, uh, was this the guy? And the uh, defense, the, sorry, the prosecutor. And the prosecutor goes, no judge, that's not him. He goes, but you're willing to take uh, the consequences for your uh, fellow party, party members? And Spencer goes, I am, Judge. In the middle of that, I cut him off and say, object. <laughs> I, what do you object to? This is your man. You're right. He is my man, but he's not your man. I know he's not my man. He's one of you. 
No, he's not your man that did it. That's what I mean, sir. Yeah, well, I know that. Well, I'm afraid I can't let that happen. Well, look, it save a lot of time if, uh, you know, we, we just admit to uh, who does what. And sir, I cop to it. Yeah, no, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna tell the truth as well. Like I, I must can't handle this pressure, right? So I, I stand up and I, I look straight at the judge and I say, I object. <laughs> and then I tell what really happened. And I'm like, hey, we got a card. We heard not to go south. I got a little bit confused. I thought I'd be okay. I really didn't mean to steal anything. I'll give you all the parts back, and I'll even as a sentence, I'll fix a bunch of shit around this like floppy old town for you. But like, you, I, I object to, to this guy taking the fall for me. Okay, the, the judge points uh, again with his gavel at, um, at Munch, and he goes, is that fella? And um, Lance says, yeah, that's one of them. Um, and the judge says, so uh, you're putting your hand up to uh, take the consequences of your group? Uh, well, and yourself? Silence for me. I'm not saying anything. He's talking to Munch. Oh, sorry, I was yeah, somehow on you. Yeah. It's it's all me. It was all me, Judge. You're kind of like spot on. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just gonna head on take it. Okay. So uh, you come up here for uh, sentencing, then. Me? Yeah. I'll, I'll walk up front, like quite quite not happily, <laughs> but like, I'll, I'll stand up next to him and give him a little bit of a wink and be like, "I got this. I got this." Okay. Lance comes over. He goes, uh, do you solemnly swear that it was you that took the um, the equipment that belongs to the good good township and the hardworking folk of Livermore, and you take responsibility for stealing aforementioned goods? Uh, you yes, yes, unequivocally. You, I'm very sorry, Sheriff. Judge. And you, you will take responsibility and punishment for aforementioned crimes. Punishment. All right. Can we have a conversation around that before I just agree to that wholeheartedly? <laughs> oh, now I'm you got trying. some. Uh, what's this? So, uh, yeah. What do you want to know? Well, like, like, can we have a negotiation about this? Like, am I? I mean, like, is this you're going to tell me what we've got to do, or is there any possibility that we can discuss the best use of my skills? Uh well, uh, Lance is going to be dealing out to punishment. I mean, the prosecution will deal out to punishment. And I don't see as uh, you get no say in uh, that. Okay. All right, all right, I'm done arguing. What does he want from me? Uh, you look at Lance? Yeah. No, Lance? Uh yeah, yeah. Lance is no. I'm, I was looking at my, my like our defense lawyer when I said that, but I'm now looking over at Lance. And please, please, what do you want from me, Craig? Craig over here, if you're looking at him, is shaking his head. And Lance Jeez. is Lance is wandering up and takes out a gun. Oh dear! Ooh, oh, I've this seen this, and I start walking over. Oh, hold on a second. Okay. Um, initiative, please. Oh crap. <laughs> So, hold on. Um, start combat. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I object. I object. <laughs> uh, and nobody's handcuffed uh, or anything, right? We're all just standing uh, here. Yeah, you're all just. just okay. Um, not even zip tied? Uh, no, you're not even zip tied. I can't work out why this isn't right. One, two, three, four, one, two. Uh, no. Uh oh. Doesn't look good for much. Oh, it doesn't, does it? Uh, okay. Um, so, Lance walks up and he has a gun out. He is looking at Munch and he has it pointed at him. The sheriff from behind, uh, so that's that's him. He's deferring though until the judge says something. Oh, I haven't put the judge in here. I don't, one moment. You better hope that Ooh. the judge doesn't go to the top. Uh, Interesting. Add combat. 
Where's the judge? Oh, he's down there. Okay. Um, okay. So Lance has a gun um, and, and you, you see he's got a gun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and he is deferring that. Uh, Sheriff says, maybe we ought to calm down. Maybe we ought to calm down. Um, and he says, you three probably shouldn't move a muscle. Uh, the guy's in front of him. Uh, Christopher. Uh, now the judge said it's up to the prosecution to dole out punishment? Yeah. And he pulled his gun out and walked towards us, right? Just <laughs> like... Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put you back. I'm going to put you back here because that's what uh, started okay. the thing. Yep. Sure. Um, I'm going to yell to Lance uh, and tell him, wait, we, both me and Munch, are more useful to you alive than dead. For my first action. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if that would be a charm. Maybe a charm then. Who's that on? On Lance. Okay. Uh, go for your life. Uh, you can use Chuck. Charm if you want. Yep. Cool. Ooh, just barely. Um, right. This is going to be an opposed check. Uh, uh, there we go. On. Okay, um, you you look at him, lean in the eye. Lance has like a, not a twinkle in his eye. He's he's angry. He's angry. Yeah, he he isn't taking the charm bait by the looks of it. Um, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> How about a reason? I'm just going to do a flat reason check. Try to talk to him. Or would that be psychology? Oh, we don't have psychology, so yeah, it would have to be a reason check. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I'll do a reason check to him. Talk him through it instead of trying to charm him. I... More or less the same thing, that we can fix up a lot of stuff around here, and there's no reason. Let, let him serve probation with some community service. I'm still going to say that's a charm thing, though, and nothing's changed okay, particularly. Nothing's changed defer. particularly around that. Okay, defer your other sure. one. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'll just put you further down. I'll put you under the judge, which is where this guy's going. Uh, Derek. Now, bearing in mind, Derek, you haven't done anything wrong, and you don't even know these guys. You could stand up for yourself here if you wanted to. Mina. Are you on mute? Oh, sorry about that. I, I missed it. I was okay. entering something. What I missed? Sorry. Uh, so you're you're in a courtroom with these other guys, uh, but you're you're completely innocent. You didn't even know that anybody was in the tank. So you could stand right. up for yourself and say, "Yeah, I shouldn't even be here." Oh, um, am I? Is like attention drawn to me or anything? Or I no, it was all focused on Munch. No, nope, it's all on much. Are you okay doing nothing? Well, thank then? you. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just sit here I until I get called upon. I'll, I'll, I'll just sit here and and figure something out. <laughs> oh, okay. I see how it goes. <laughs> okay, much. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> much. Um. Is there anyone after me? Uh, what do you Can mean after, do after you? Well, like in the turn, right? So, I mean, there's still a few people after me, right? So, yep. I'm, I'm a bit panicked, so I'm just going to defer. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go as far down the list as I can and just see what unfolds. Okay. Go after Daryl. Uh, Nate, what are you, you doing? Uh, I'm going to do as the sheriff says and just not do anything. So defer. Okay. Boop. And the moment. Uh, and Spencer. Spencer says, "Look, it was me." I did it. 
uh, and I will take responsibility for the rest of my party. He looks at you, Christopher, and he says, uh, we can't. Um, and he looks at Munch, who he um, sort of pats on the back. He just says, um, "My, uh, I, I will take responsibility for these guys and um, far be it from me. They're, they're sort of better guys than I am anyway. And um, he, he looks up at the judge and he goes, and that's, that's it, final. Don't care what these other guys say. I take responsibility. Uh, and, at this point, do I see Lance turn? Uh, no, not not He's yet. Still, still pointed at Munch. Uh, well, it's not his go yet. Um, okay. So the judge looks down. He goes, "Well, as long as you're sure," he says. Um, uh, the the court rules in uh, favor of the prosecution against this fella here with glasses, and he smashes his gavel on the um, gavel. Gavel. What the hell? Uh, his gavel on the on the wood. Uh, Christopher, you'll go. I'm shouting no, and I'm bolting as far as I can run, which is two spaces, because I already charmed, and towards uh, Spencer. No, it wasn't him. It was <laughs> okay. denying anything that's pointed towards uh, Spencer. Okay, and Lance points point blank at Spencer. Uh, what the hell? There we go. Um, boop, 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 boop. Um, and uh, uh, shoots. And isn't gonna miss. Oh, for fuck! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry, I didn't put that. So, no, no, no. Uh, let's try that again. Boom. I'm assuming there's no reason he should miss. No, there's no reason he should miss. Other than this is just plus ten C mod. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, would have been also so much more dramatic if it didn't go clicking. Uh, right, attack. Oops. Attack. There we go. Bam. And damage seven. Okay, Spencer is 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 hit in the head, okay? And uh, although the damage is seven, um, Lance then... Yeah, the, the Lance will shoot again. Um, straight into the head. Um, again, what the hell's going on? Right here. We should have made it a cold shot. Yeah. Then that bonus damage. Yeah. I don't... Yeah, there you go. Um, so two shots quickly to the head of Spencer after the... Literally after the, the gavel, gavel is dropped from the judge. Christopher shouts no, makes a run for him. Spencer drops to the floor. Um, uh, uh, under the gunshots, the the judge looks down and he says, "I'm sorry to say, justice has been served. You're all free to leave, um, and I don't want any more trouble from you guys." Munch, your um, your your ears are ringing from what's just happened. Um, and Lance starts walking back. He, he does not have, like, a happy face on or anything. He just looks like he's served justice. You're free to take the your your man's body, and um, we, can, um, we can bury him if you want, or we can cremate him. And someone coughs in the back. Uh, okay, we can't cremate him. We can bury him, though, with a full service if you'd like. 
happens. Nobody's going to eat him. I don't really care what happens to him. I, I'm just mortified, like that they shot him dead. Like I'm kind of looking, like like from face to face, and the people in the party trying to figure out what to do because this just feels uh, very uh, very real. Uh, do I see any sense of life in his eyes at all? No. Like you're any not... parting words at all? No. No, you're not. Okay. You're not. All right. Well, the uh, probably just over no, time. no. He'd be, he was he was even facing the judge. So <laughs> one. No. No, no, no. All right. As oh, Sheriff I... stands up and points to you three to leave with him. He goes, let's let's guy guys, let's get you out of here. So wait, wait, where are we going? Uh, he just uh, asks these guys here to leave okay. the courtroom with him, and there, unless you do, you want to do you want to bury Spencer? Um, I'm distraught at this point. Just probably over top of him, holding him, doing all those brotherly love things. And probably absorbing like three breaking points. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, so I'm going to say Spencer will get three because that's whoops, not Aiden does. Chris, uh, break points. Ah, uh, Christopher, sorry. Uh, Munch, you'll get two because you're right next to it when it happened. Uh. And the the other guys are in shock, but they will get one each. Um. Even though, even Derek, even though um, you don't know these guys, it's just, it's just so freaked you out you. that, yeah, that, <laughs> that, that, that's happened. Um, yeah. The the sheriff walks you over in, in a group and he's, he's sort of, um, he walks to the back of the thing, gets a, um, uh, a sheet and puts it over Spencer. Um, and he says, look, there won't be any trouble, but, um, we should really get you out of here. If, if you want your, your man to be buried, I can arrange that for you. If you want a service, I can arrange that. Um, but let's get you guys out of here. I'm not positive how to react to the, the question he's asking, but I'm sure I'm probably there drenched in tears and I'm probably unmovable for what would be perceived maybe two turns of combat if you're keeping time. Uh, we're not keeping two or time. Two three, maybe. Eh, everything's no. quiet. Well, I mean, for and... a sense of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these guys yeah. start sort of solemnly wandering and leaving the courtroom by the um, by the back. I'm thinking for maybe like five or ten minutes I'm probably going to have to be dragged away and I'm probably not moving. Um, you hear a noise, and this guy comes in through the front door. And he goes, damn, I didn't even give, get to give evidence, he says. And the cop turns around and... Oh, my oh. God. Smacks him in the chops, but fails desperately to do anything. How bad is that? Oh, oh, I gave him a seal of five as surprise as well. So again, it's double one. It's yeah. a moment of love, right? Double one. So, oh, so the cop is kind of in remorse for you guys. Sees how much you, you know, you do care for each other as a as a unit, which is possibly why he was trying to look after you guys. Um, takes a big swing at this guy, misses, and sort of falls, um, hunched over the table here. Um, and this guy, um. You remember his name was um, Gleason. Um, he he looks and he go, he says, uh, uh, "Sheriff, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry." And he, he he runs out of the room without taking any damage. Bastard. Oh. Uh, the the cop pulls himself off of the table and he says, uh, uh, "Sure, I'm sorry about that." Um, uh, let me let me sort out your guy, and he he gets a um, a dolly, um, a cart that you can put Spencer on. <clears throat> you're soon you're soon in the courtroom on your own. Um, 
well, with the sheriff. Yeah. I'm probably at a loss for words and very uh, take by the hand at this point to wherever I'm going to go. Pretty sure if someone were to put a leash on me, I'd probably go wherever it tugs. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of want to hold your hand and let someone lead us both away from here because this just feels all very uh, horrible to months. Who's obviously feeling a horrible get death over James Bond's death over there, or Jack Bauer. So Sheriff will take you out um, into uh, around the side, and there'll be there'll be a hole um, over here that's already dug that you can put him in. Oh, how nice! <laughs> And we'll have see, a fair trial for an execution. I get if, it. If if you have a look further back, there's more holes already dug back here. Um, and the sheriff okay. explains to you that um, you know the the town's been the town's been burying their own ever since they got onto onto their feet. Um, they've they've had people coming in from Pleasantville, which is to the west. Um, amongst other strangers, and every time they've let people in, something's happened, and they've lost some of their township. And so now it's a it's a one hit, and um, they 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 publicise this as much as they can. But obviously, you guys haven't been around this area, um, and so yeah. It's that they're, they're trying to stop things from happening in the future, but uh, he doesn't agree with it, obviously. But he's not saying anything to the contrary. Yeah, you get the feeling he's put himself as lawman so that this sort of thing doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. Um, he'll lead you back up to the garage and give you all back guns. Uh, and take them out of his um, back of his car. Some of the yokels that come up with you, they'll be armed as well. Um, but he says, um, look, you're free to stay on the other side as long as you guys want. Um, obviously, please don't come into the town. Um, that's kind of a done and dusted. Um, I'll leave you on your word that you won't come across. And um, maybe, probably, you should move on, he says. And... Um, he resents you all your weapons. Um, he quietly walks up to you, Christopher, and says, um, did you get the cart going? Who? Someone's me? me. Uh, Sheriff says to Christopher oh. quietly, did you get the cart going? Uh, I, I, I don't, I, I don't know. Talk, talk to Munch. <laughs> He um, wanders over to Munch and says, um, "You, uh, did you get the did you get the cart going?" Oh, I have Jays. <clears throat> yeah, no, I, uh, I, I, yeah, I, I uh, he's being subtle when he says it, right? Yeah, he's 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 so genu under genuine. Yeah, under my breath, I said to him, "Yeah, I've got to I've got to get it tested," but I think so. He says, um, have a look in the back of the um, the motel, uh, what do you call the front, where you register? No, the registration, the reception. Uh, yeah. Have a look behind there. I believe they keep a battery there for um, jump-starting their old cars. I don't know whether it's any good. I think it'll still be, still be okay. Might help you guys. That seems very generous. Well, just don't be telling any of the locals. And uh, he shoes the he shoes the locals out um, away, and they go back into Livermore. And you're left um, with you guys um, at the motel again. That was solemn. Yeah. Oh, I was man. not expecting it, uh, people to just say, yeah, it was me. So, I, oh, we weren't expecting you were so full of surprise. Surprise. <laughs> What's that, sorry? 
Say again? I said you said our group is always so full of surprises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, to be honest, it's always gone different ways. You know, people have, um, um, in previous ones, people have done different things each time. Um, that's the first time someone's actually just shortcut everything and <laughs> not for the better. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's the last thing I expect people to do is just to, you know, admit that they've done something. Well, that might be reasonable if we admitted it, I think. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, okay. Um, it is half past four, guys, uh, here. I don't know what time it is there. Must be late. Half past four. 11.30, I think, for some of the people. Yeah. Hey, Matt, this was awesome. I think it's half past four here, too. Say that again, bud. <laughs> I said, I think it's half past four here, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredibly late there, is it? Or early? Uh, it's 11.30 it's, for me. It's, okay. Yeah, 11.30. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, guys. Um, I, well, I I guess I'm sorry that it's... The way it was it awesome. Was. Yeah, but, um, yeah, it's the reality of, um, I guess... A place where they're trying to look after themselves. I wish I had more out. solemn music. Uh, <laughs> I got a harmonica. I can play that. As, I'm, as, <laughs> yeah. as always, this was awesome. I really appreciate it. And next week we'll go back to um, Georgetown and figure out what to do after the fucking ambush out in the woods that all went horribly wrong. So this was awesome, Matt. Thank you. All good. Um, yeah, good game. Cool, cool. Uh, so, Tony, I've updated. I'll update the rules again for your game because it fixes a bunch of this stuff, gives you the new numbers, and gives you, right. um, like I say, uh, I think you put luck dice in um, your initiative now as well. Beautiful. So, uh, yeah, so we have a bunch of stuff. And if I play in the next, well, when I play in the next one, then we can get rid of the other bugs as well. I think I've got most of them correct now. Coolies. So how did I do my first time? Awesome. Did Thank I do all right? You. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the beauty of uh, role playing is there's no right or wrong, basically, unless you completely act out of character, and you definitely didn't do that. Um, so <laughs> I think everyone's happy. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you for joining us, man. Pre really appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks Yay. for my awesome first guy. adventure ever. That was a lot of fun. So thanks, guys. And you didn't die. It's brilliant. <laughs> that's, I know. That's, I, was, I, was, I didn't die within like two minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's number one. Cool. Cheers, guys. And I Thanks, will speak guys. to you next week. Have fun. Cheers, guys. Good night. Bye. Ciao.